Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, good evening, bienvenue to the Sim Cafe on the 10th of April. It's a Wednesday. Wednesday means one thing, community racing. Actually means two things tonight, or maybe three, if we uh, talk about the last bit. But uh, we are in collaboration with the one and only Casey Rotor Racer. You will be hearing him in the chat very soon. We'll be on the mic together tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course, Wednesday means community races, and we are at Monza because, of course, tom tomorrow, next week, let's get the words out. Next week, it is a 25 minute race on LFM, so we'll probably do a few of those for what it's worth. Could be quite funny. I'm just using the word funny because you know what Monza's like. Uh, apart from that, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a good week so far. Um, I had an in interesting day at work, I uh, delivered a little class on AI. And I helped out some people with troubleshooting, which is actually quite tricky, but we get there. We'll get there. Uh, apart from that, um, yeah, uh, what to say? Um, everyone's driving Nords at the moment, and I've in, been enjoying watching it. So, uh, Matt, not quite 60. On Saturday, when we do a 90-minute Nordschleife race, I think we'll get 60. I think tonight we'll get about 40, which is awesome because anything over 30 is a dream if i get 31 i'm very happy stefan hamer good evening good to see you um so yeah if i get over th 30 because that's what we used to get on our public lobbies um matt then yeah i don't think we're gonna get 60 tonight i don't think people are that into monza really a lot of people just are a bit like meh you know a lot of people don't like it because it's the main monza um i haven't said hello to everyone yet have i so let's start with that we've got matt we've got alex we've got skydiver dan speed we've got Jan thompson we've got jay sullivan we've got marshan we've got matt beer again we've got stefan we've got marshan again races at monza should only have one lap everyone dying lap run retrofilio all anyways yeah yeah turn turn oh blimey he's in my ear hello how you doing
you've got all the mutes. Okay. Uh, let's introduce you to my stream then. Um, everybody, we have Casey with us. Casey, say hi. Hello, stream. There we go. So we've got some good old-fashioned American pet with us tonight. All right. Howdy. Keeping us, howdy. Keeping us pepped up. Jazzed up ah. to the eyeballs. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, my chat's asking if it's wrong to hold the accelerator and the T1, things like that. Uh, it's kind of a mess oh, over here. Oh, it's going to be exciting with the, with the Road to Racer crew. <laughs> Never a dull moment with those crazy guys. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Exactly, Matt. Oh, yeah. hello. Rarish says, I think I did a new PR and I still found two tenths but lost it. Oh, yeah, we've all had one of them. Uh, he was supposed to say hi and said hello. I don't know, Marshan. We, we do our best. Horses and water. We can only lead them to it. How are you doing, yep. Casey? Uh, doing good. Uh, Knutson, what's up, buddy? Stephen Mill says, I have uh, my magic unicorn at my side for T1. Oh, I was telling them that I've seen videos of perfect T1s at Monza where like a full grid goes through it perfectly from like yeah. the top down. And I told them it was like finding a unicorn or like a triple rainbow. Hey, get ready for tonight's replay then. That's what I'm going to say. Oh. Um, what have you been I up guess. to today, Casey? Uh, I made a couple shorts this morning. Nice. Uh, not like ones you would wear or anything. No, like no, for fair YouTube. enough. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and uh, a couple more of my photography shorts. And then uh, I did some drifting. Ooh. So I've got my drifting my drifting boots on right now. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully they play in my favor. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I thought I watched a bunch of New Girl and ate like crap. I'm still trying to get through all this Easter you're, candy in my house. You're still doing the New Girl myself. thing. I love it. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. watch an episode every day for lunch. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Right. Uh, let's do a lap, shall we? There's less than half hour to go. So, Casey, you know why we're here tonight, right? Because uh, it's, cause it's, uh, it's community race day. <laughs> what you rubbish. Uh, we are at Monza because, of course, it is a 25-minute race next week on LFM. Course. So, course. So here we are doing a couple of lappies just to get ourselves warmed up for next week. And of course, having some fun with a bit of Porsche Cup at the end. Got to hang around for that one. All right. Yeah. yeah it'll. I'll, I'll have to. I'll probably be bouncing out of the Porsche Cup. My kid gets off the bus in midstream. So. Fair enough. Say no more. Well, we've got 29 on the server. Can we squeeze the magic 31? That's all we asked for here at the Zoom Cafe. 31 brave souls. What's up? Yo, Wilson. Apologies, buddy. I've not listened to the stoop yet. I need to check that um, episode out. I do need to watch it. Or listen to it, I should say. Beard, hurry up home. Get involved. Exactly, Matty. Come on. Only half hour left in quality. Have you got a target time on the server, Casey? Um... Well, I did a couple laps a little bit earlier, just to see where I was, and I hit—I did hit 149s a couple times. Good. But uh, but no, I hit 149 once, and it was very high. I mean, basically just flirting with one 150. So Good. we will see. Uh, Matt Beard says Casey try Peep Show, a British sitcom. Never heard of it. You, Jeff? Oh uh, yeah, very famous over here. Uh, cult classic. Okay. Uh, quite unique and it's um, every single camera angle every single one throughout the entire whatever series it had uh, was done from a person's perspective first person I oh believe, that's weird if I remember um, oh, that sounds like it could be funny well that alone is just an interesting premise in terms of the, the cinematography I guess not that it's oh, deep it. on that but it certainly creates something um, but it's just more about the adventures of two uh, young middle aged men in uh, London I guess South East uh, generally being like quite useless, I guess, uh, horrendously embarrassingly so, uh, cringeworthily, uh, and just yeah, the characters they built up and everything, and the people around them, it's very funny, uh, it's very British, it's very dark, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, definitely worth getting into. Uh, won't be for everyone, but it is pretty funny. It's pretty hard. Yeah, I there. haven't actually. I don't know that I've ever watched like a, any British television series. Because oh, I mean, the only one, one I know of is we've we've rewatched. We had, we redid the office over here. Right. What yep. is your guys' view on that? Do you the redoing which it version or? do you like? Oh well, I think you'll find that a lot of British people probably don't know the American one that well. Oh okay. Yeah, it's it is. I'm sure it's been shown over here a fair bit, but it wasn't like everyone watched it all the time. Which with the office, obviously, there was only two series. Um, which is that kind of thing of like you know never overdoing it and dragging it on sort of thing, even though it's making money, which is the obvious thing to do. 
But from an artistic standpoint, right. you've kind of done the story arc now. Move on to something else, right? Don't just keep dragging on things. So um, I think it was very much that. It was very, it was kind of perfect in a way. You know, sort of, I think it was two series, right. two two specials, maybe I think as well. And that's about it. Uh, very tight and succinct. Um, and obviously that was a classic. But the American one, people don't really. I think we've very quickly realised it's just a different thing, and obviously American culture and humour is different. Not that it's not funny, but it's different. Right. Yeah, again, a lot of the British yeah. humour is incredibly dark in the British version. Have you ever watched it? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I've never watched the British version. Right. The, um, it is incredibly dark. The American dark. version is incredible. It's like, uh, Hale is like one of the best TV shows over here. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I've seen bits. I've probably watched a few episodes now and again, and I've got into it a little bit. But, yeah, the British version is much sort of shorter and sharper. It's like a story arc, really. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite, um, quite harsh in a way and grim. Uh, and dark, but that's kind of what Inter we. Interesting. I'll, have, we to, have, I'll have to watch it then. You said it's only like a couple seasons. Yeah, two seasons and two and two oh, wow. specials, I think. Um, but yeah, no. oh, I invalidated that joy. Right on the end of the parabolica. Gavin and Stacy says puny. Oh, we have got a few people in chat. Hello, hello, poop. Uh, Juan is chuffed for me getting the mini. You damn right, Juan. I cannot wait. Going from this to a GT Neo is going to be unreal. Really can't wait for that. So yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm going to put uh, that time right here. Right here. Oh dear. Steve says, my missus is livid. Open YouTube for the first time in forever. This stream is the first hit for her. Oh no. Getting popular over here. Gervais is a genius, says Poops. He certainly is very, very, very good at what he does, that's for sure. Can't fault him for that. Uh, I liked his Steve films Mills as well, though, like Ghost Town and stuff. Sorry, go on. You're fine. Stephen Mills says I need to watch the uh, the League of Gentlemen. Right? Yeah. Is that, is that a British show? I'm trying to think. That... Oh, sorry, it took me for a moment. Oh, you need to watch it. As in, he, need, he you should watch it, Casey. Right, um, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is definitely very. Um, have you ever heard of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Mighty Boosh. Uh -oh. Right, okay, fair enough. So in the UK, we are big fans of surreal comedy. Have you ever watched surreal comedy before? I'm not sure. That, that's not a term we use over here that I know of. Okay. Um, yeah, we have surrealist comedy. Monty Python's a little bit there. Okay, I've seen right? that. But it is genuinely obscure. It's not immediately obvious to humour sometimes. Sometimes it's just more about the character and stuff like that. Um, but it okay. will be like surrealism. Um, so the Mighty Boosh is quite famous. Lots of characters that are very weird. One whose face was a mint or something, uh, Polo. Um, and there's a guy, the Moon. The Moon always used to talk. The Moon was a cream-faced dude. I'm the Moon. So um, and various punch and phrases and catchphrases that are quite strange and again often quite dark and twisted. Uh, and again, that's British humour, really. That's what we go for. Tends to be fairly cerebral, uh, not too obvious, and often a bit mean. And 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 everyone's a bit, yeah, nasty, kind of stuff. Is more our thing rather than the sort of hey hi humor. Did uh, Matt Beard says I'm old Greg? Did that come from British? <laughs> yep. Television? Okay, because yeah, that's very that's very popular over here. Right there we like go. Like worldwide, I guess that freaking skit is crazy. There we go. So that's a, again, and it's just quite random, isn't it? If you think about it, that skit. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's British. That's literally going to be a lot of British humor. That's um, yeah. So the League of Gentlemen was about. Different characters in a little village, I believe, if I mind serves. So I watched it before, but it was a long time ago now. And the characters in it are just the most awful people in history. Um, we have and, Always uh, Sunny in Philadelphia. That's the most awful people in history. Yeah, that in that's interesting. Uh, what I like about all, some of the, because I watched yeah, all of thanks. Philadelphia. It's one of my favourites. Um, yeah, that is incredible. about as British as American humour gets. Yeah. What I love about It's Always Sunny is it for me. It feels like a live action version of Family Guy. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like in Family Guy, they'd never say those things in real life, but actually it turns out it's a show that does that. So, <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah, it's funny as a roller coaster. It's yeah, a, I love it. I do love it. It's hard, it's hard to explain to people sometimes. I don't know. You've got to watch it. And then I'll be showing them a bit of an episode. They'll be like, oh, Lord, what is going on? I'm like, no, no. Frank and this guy are doing well in bed together. Don't worry. Leave him to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We talk game. about it a lot over here. It's one of Matt Beard's favorite shows. Nice. Hi, Jeff says Niman. Hello. Dargo asked, ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? It's, it's a local shop for local people. Yeah, it does, David. 
serves her right. That's a bit slow on Is the brakes there. Is everybody just blazing fast in here? What's going what on? Earth? Where are you I at? Just put down a, I just did a 150 and I'm 23rd. No. And there's probably like two other people who haven't done a lap, have done a lap that's about it. My tires um, are coldest. Oh, we'll sort that out. Yeah, you don't, you don't do those swear words. Uh, we have got 33 on the server, so we've broken the 30. Love to see it, but clearly Monda is not the hot topic right now. Uh, I'd imagine if we did a Nord server, we'd get 60, which obviously we're going to see on Saturday night. Do you reckon you can make that one case? I know you've been a bit up and down with it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, com not committing. Like oh, I said, enough, my wife will enough. be home, you know, right after a, one of our oh, yes, shows that one. on Friday yep. night. Yeah, now I remember. Okay. The smart um, man in me says no. Yeah, but you know, they say like, ask for give them not permission. Um, <laughs> so, uh, on that note, you know, it's going to be an awesome little event. We'll do 90 minutes, one pit stop. And I think that server will fill up fairly quick. I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but that seems to be the flavour at the moment. I was watching some of the streamers today. Some of our favourite streamers like Jar Jar and Chronix and Rory. Yeah, and who else? Um, uh, Robin, Bongo. Uh, all these guys streaming uh, the Nordsch Life, and I just thought, yeah, I'd probably rather do that than Kyle Army. So tomorrow night, I will be on the Nordsch Life instead of Kyle Army. And then, of course, on Saturday night, we're all going to be on the Nordsch Life together for a little race. And Casey, what are we doing at the end of this? Oh, uh, are you going to be able to do some laps at the end of this with me? Uh, I'm going to try. It'll, it depends okay. on what, what my child's mood is when she gets home. Sometimes right, they're... Are. You know, sometimes they're very self-reliant, and then there's other times when yep. they just need attention, so... Yep, makes sense. Yellow flag in Sector 3. This tire pressure dealt with. Uh, I should probably tell our new friend Steve to go easy on the server messages, but I'll do that later. Alright. Yeah, I managed to 48.6. I'll squeeze it out while we've been chatting. 48.6, okay. Yeah. Ooh, bad second chicane. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ralph Don Cowboy. Yes, he is home. I am godly says Top Gear. Top Gear. I haven't actually... I, I, my uh, guitar player, Dan, watches Top Gear, like, religiously. I would probably actually like it. Top Gear? The show? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, are you talking about the British version, specifically, then? Um, I'm guessing... The old Darkson one, rather than the modern ones yeah, yeah, that yeah, get yeah, turned yeah. out. Yeah, it is... Um, I was thinking about... I was talking about earlier, actually, from someone. It, it, it was the king tv show at one point like and this thing is a kind of technically meant to be a motoring show right but it was right. literally the biggest show on tv it wasn't just motoring it was everyone watching it because it's basically just humor in the end i mean they're talking about cars and you know loving cars but it's basically just the humor and stuff like that um you know very risque a lot of the time really pushed a lot of boundaries got in trouble a lot of the time all that sort of stuff um but yeah the older uh, top gear i mean it's kind of different now in terms of you know Obviously, there's no element of watching cars that are new because this is all old. <laughs> but right. uh, the actual show itself and the comedy was quite uh, intense. Yeah. There we go. Evening, yeah, Mike. Good to see. Were very skit heavy. They were very skit heavy. Yeah, I seen. think towards the end it got a little bit, a bit. I won't say tedious, but it was like their natural humour together was great, um, and they kind of used that well in segments. But then, of course, after that, it was making segments to expose their humour, which wasn't really the same. I get them to do something and they're funny with it. But if you start trying to make them do skits and comedy, it doesn't really come off the same in the end. They're not really comedians like that. Quite funny. Right. More about the chemistry between them. And of course, once they quit in their big, huge yeah, furore, nice. because it's a massive global thing about them quitting, because uh, Jeremy Clarkson hit an assistant or something and had to quit, um, they tried to replace them a million times over and it's never been the same in any way. Yeah, I guess you couldn't. Of yeah. course, of course. And it's quite funny because they were like, oh, you know, it's the biggest gig in TV, who wants it kind of thing. And lots of people went up for it and within a series would just go and they'd change it around here and there and it just felt nothing like what was going on before. Of course it wasn't. It was three different people, so. What's up, Meg? 
Welcome, buddy. Hear that? Fix my mom. Mo. <laughs> How you doing, mom? Yeah, it's a good evening to everyone watching tonight. I hope you're well. Tuned in. 34 on the server. Not bad. Not bad at all. Gone straight on to walking. I bet you poop. I'm sure a lot of my gaining time on here, obviously the chicanes and stuff, but those two, um, the two quick, generally quick corners, I don't know what they're called. Lesmo. <laughs> yeah, Lesmo's like one and two, yeah. Yeah, so those two, I definitely think a later turn in would help me a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember me saying before about if you think about the inside apex curb, you really want to touch the last third of it. Okay. Right? So that's what I would suggest. Like, when you think about the inside curb and how long it is, think about only touching the last third of it. And it's a bit like, obviously, the last turn at Nordschleife, right? Before the straight. Right. You can't just dive into it on the inside. You need to kind of go midway in. That awkward kind of half into the middle of the turn. And then later on, you'll catch the apex and be able to go straight and exit all the way up the next bit. And also, you've got to use all of the outside on the exit right up to the limit. That doesn't change, right? Right. Right. You're showing off now, Jeff. Not quite, Dave. It's just a 48 2. Three split two races today. P3, P1, P5. Hello. Are you going for a big split on Sunday, Poot? Right, so I don't know if you're aware of the folklore, uh, Casey, but um, obviously Poop, you know, Poop in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, and Freddy, Emerson GT driver, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, they were meant to do the Watkins Glen race together uh, at the end of this last season, I know, like two weeks ago. And they couldn't because Poop got a three-day ban. I don't know if you heard about any of this. How did you get a ban? Uh, he killed everybody at Watkins Glen. Oh no! And it was in the obviously the lead up to that race, and then he got banned from the race, so they couldn't do it. Was it very much his fault, or was it? Car on the left. On the left. Well, I mean, no, I and mean, yeah, but well, basically, you know, Watkins Glen, you got the horrible walls either side of you on the straight, especially going up that bit, right? So yeah, yeah, if yeah, anything yeah. happened, they're on just bouncing around like a pinball. Yeah, he just drifted to the left, uh, drifted into someone else's line behind, and that took them out. And then behind them was just the most insane mess you'll ever see. Uh, about 15 cars died. Literally everyone just piled in. Beautiful. Absolutely oh, un un unreal scenes. Unrivaled. Uh, he is the butcher of Watkins. Now he was the king. Now he's the butcher of Watkins. Nice. Uh, so uh, yeah, there is that. Uh, yeah. Um, bless him. Uh, and uh, yeah, he got banned for the race. He can do it. And of course this weekend, it is the Watkins Glen Enduro again already. Early in the season. Uh, so him and... Oh, I'm out of fuel. I wonder what was going on. My engine went a bit weird. Uh, yeah, you can't. I mean, Dave clearly wasn't the lap for me anyway. Let's get off the track. Um, look at me, P9. I barely I barely, barely stretched my legs yet. Rarish is six tenths faster. I can't have that. Damn it. There's some fast people here in the uh, build class. I can tell you that. Casey, there's some fairly fast people in the fresh class. I'll be honest, buddy. Poops. Dip my toes into the 149s. Ooh, get you. Poop says one of my finest moments, Casey. There you go. Sounds like it, buddy. <laughs> you, you crack on. Yeah, you you keep on with that, Poop. Yeah, now these things happen in racing. I mean, eh, it's a bit unfortunate. On a three-day ban when he just drifted a bit to the left. Right. I mean, that's a bit... Unfortunate, say. I mean, you know, everybody and their synonym reports. Well, that's the thing. Like, I like the gavels out at the end of the track. <laughs> but I just, and I, and I think there is a thing for if you cause a big accident, you get a penalty like that, a bigger one, a ban. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit awkward because, well, yeah, poop. It'd be really awkward if someone made a video for it and posted it on our Discord with loads of edits and cuts, wouldn't it, poop? Uh, it is available, Casey. If you want to watch it, it's quite funny. I'll show you oh. at some point. I'll show you. I'll find Very it in the nice. center. Uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say if we could send a link. No, no, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit unfortunate. Right? It's a little bit like all the pit lane penalties, like the stop going, all that, for going one kilometre over and so on, or even disqualified. 
And it's just, you're not gaining that much. Hello, Effect. Hello, new man. Hello, Quantum, if I haven't said hello. Uh, I hope you're all able to join. How many have we got on the server now? Have you lazy people. What have we got now? Oh, 36. And Mike's on. We've got Mike on the server. Casey. Oh. Guess what car he's driving? Uh, it's a Porsche. Me, <laughs> of course, of course. Always. <laughs> always a Porsche boy. No, he's no Lambo. No, he's not really. Um, right. Like <laughs> the silence was deafening, yeah. Uh, okay, no, we've got, it's great to see oh, all of you guys on, here. Give me the 48, oh, give me the 48, come on. Do it, do it. Hey, can you have a word come with Knudsen? On. Can you have a word with Knudsen, please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 46, 7. by 100th. Oh, not bad. Oh, you and Realstone. Very close. You and David. Hello, Flint. Good to see you, sir. FIA Mike. Exactly, David. We need to watch it. What, you need to watch this? The speed. It's horrible watching Knudsen. Yeah, can you have a word with Knudsen, please? Oh, Niman, you want to watch the ticking out 15 cars? Okay, I'll see if I can find it at some point. This Aston is pretty slow with 50 litres. Why are you driving with 50 litres, Juan? What game is this? What kind of game are you playing? Oh, I'm still, I'm still running race fuel. I was going to say, actually, what's your fuel like? I was about to go on board you. Never mind. I was about to cheat and just go on board with you instead. Oh, it's like four. It's like 45. Yeah. yeah. Take some of that. I had a That's couple right. of attempts. So, uh, yes, you and David are both in the fresh class, and you are within a few hundredths of each other. It's all working out very nicely. Oh, I'm four tenths quicker than George, and George is in pro. <gasps> Did I really go that quick? I was waffling away at you lot. Forbid him GT3, force him in GT4. <laughs> that could work. Well, I might put a vote to the drivers of a success ballast. So, Casey, what do you think about that? So, the winners of the three classes, and P2 and P3 each week, get uh, 5, 10, and 15 kilos added to their car for the next race. I have no clue. Is that something that's typically done? I mean, no, and yeah, it's any league can do anything they want. In real life, I'm not sure how much it's done. It certainly happens in I mean, some online leagues. But you understand the premise, right? If you come first, second, or third in your class, right. you'll get um extra 5, 10, or 15 kilos. Right, 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 right. In the next race. Just obviously one race only. What do you think? What do you think, chat? What do you think about um, success ballast? I don't, I don't hate it. Uh, okay. I think that I think you'll find some people that... It depends on who your winner is. Some people might feel that they got lucky and then they're punished <laughs> the next week, you know. But I think for the most at most part, if you're going to win a... What are they, 90-minute races? A 60 and 90, yeah. Okay, if you're going to win a 90-minute race, you probably are the fastest in your class. It's probably not a fluke, so... Oh, I mean, yeah, damage, crashes, incidents could have a big part right. to play. Pit stops, right. messing them up. A lot of pit stops to do. All that sort of thing. They don't always go clean. All sorts of different things could happen, I think, that will affect people's races. Rain, I'm not sure how many rain races we'll do, or mixed weather races. I want to do at least one, maybe two mixed weather races. Uh, can we remove ballast if you finish outside of the top ten? Ah, oh, uh, interesting. Interesting proposal. I think, to be honest, taking it up to top three might be the start, rather than doing too much, because I have to do it. Uh, Flint right. says yes. Varish says yes. David says, I agree if I'm not in those positions. Roger. David, that'll cost, good, that'll cost a lot of money. Um, there we go. Eight minutes left in quality. I'm currently P11 on the community. Hi all, says JH. How you doing, JH? Good to see you, buddy. Don't fancy joining us tonight. There's a few slots left. Thirty-six on the server. Not bad. Oh, poop of an early win there. Oh, I'm, oh Dave as well. Oh, dear. It was a bit slow for me. Right, we are currently on board with Casey, Road to Racer. Oh gosh. Oh god. Like, oh my god. What is Les? Les? Uh, Matthew Bird says Knudsen. Come on, man. Shake my head. What did Knudsen <laughs> do? How fast is he? Too fast, I think. It's a wide one.
There we go. My troll along on the back. Do it, JH. Hello, Kaz. Good to see you, sir. Nice little lurk there. Kaz, are you your NT, aren't you, on the server, if I remember? Kaz is NT. Let's have a look. Hey, Poops is in. Love it. Good to see you, Poops. We might get close to 40, you know. There's six minutes left. A few people are threatening to jump in. Right, let's see what Casey's got. Oh, this is slow. Turn it too early. Oh. Interestingly, much better than me on the entry into the turmoil, I think, there. Using more to track. Broke, up, broke a lot later than I am at the moment. I need to work on that. But definitely a few temps I'm leaving on the table there. All right, good line through Curva Grandi. Up to turn four. And that was super enough. late. Super late on the brakes. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. So I was. I, I, I mixed there. There's that little orange uh, barrier on the right where it yeah. cuts off. I typically try to break at that. That wasn't um, a bad line. A bit slow, but wasn't a bad line. You turned in a touch late. Cut it. Cut. Ooh, missed it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, um, no, I know. Um, yeah, the. Uh, the what do we call it? Um, yeah, I would say there's a 150 board, right? I normally get about 140, 135. So about 10 meters after that 150 board on the right, on that turn back there, turn four. Turned in too early that time. A little bit. And you got too far wide there. You should stay closer to that right curve so you can do the left, which is more important the exit, right? Yeah. So stay this more, right. a, you've got to be careful. This is a bozo those, lap here. Yeah, that's right. I would say those, <laughs> those, on the inside right, those curves, those sausages are very dangerous. So you want to get as close to those sausages yeah, as possible. Yeah, any car. So get as close to those sausages as possible. But you know what you're doing. You just got to, yeah, just keep doing this and building up on it. You broke a bit, like I said, I think a bit late for turn four, second chicane. Uh, your exit for T1, or T2 technically, uh, just think about the exit here. So get as hard right as you can, right? So when you'll see you break left on the curb, but then when you're right. turning right, stay as hard right as you can so you've got a nice exit all the way left. So if you stay right here, and it open, oh, that's a bit too much, but the idea is, you see how open it is now? Right. So if you do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna a give it a little throttle in the middle too, so I don't know. Yeah, I well, I or, or don't break as much. Take more apex speed. It's more stable rather than braking and accelerating. So you have a slight, slightly less braking. We're talking 5K here, not 15, right? It's a small margin. Oh, that's first gear. Look for the exit. You, it's all about that exit, getting that throttle down as early as possible. Jake is struggling to find the server. Uh, I'm not sure why, buddy. We've got 50 safety rating, which isn't very high. No track medals. I think everyone's got these. Um, so hopefully you can find it, mate. The details are there, the Sim Cafe, the road to the Sim Cafe, if you're looking. And the password's there as well. So I hope you do find it, Jake. There's still plenty of slots. Plenty of slots here. It's funny how putting on a fast lap works. It's like... I was struggling to get in to the uh, 49s, mm -hmm. and now I'm running what I consider not to be a very good lap, and I'm just like hovering in the 49s. Yep, that's the psychology. There's so much psychology in sport, isn't there? An insane amount. A lot of the best athletes aren't the fittest or the strongest, they just had the best mentality in psychology. Right. Yo, Dan, good to see you. Cosmic Mike, good to see you as well. Gentle, stay in. Could have easily overcooked that one. So yeah, for T1, like I say, just get hard right. Don't overdo it like you did this time, but you know, just take a bit more speed right. and basically you can go right to make sure because all you want is that exit out of T2. And you'll do that as early as possible from that right hand side. So yeah, stay hard right, but make sure you still hit that left apex as well on the second part of the turn. Stay hard right, make sure you hit that left apex. Go, go, go. Okay, a bit ah. too much, but you'll get there. Get that timing right with all those inputs, and you'll fly down here for another half a second. There you go. Anyway, I won't annoy you anymore. Let's go on no, board with... Oh, yeah. look at Connaughton everywhere. Kick the top five to the back of the field and watch Carnage. Why do you insist on Carnage, Dan? Why do you all have so much dust luck, Dan? Can't we all just get along on track? Haha. <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, as you guys may know, I get my consignment of toxic waste from this pound shop downstairs. We've got what we call pound shops, Casey, that were discount stores or cheap ones. 
We call them dollar stores here. Yeah, there yeah. we go. So we got one downstairs, and they sell the toxic waste. They always have random uh, random supplies, don't they? Um, it's his middle name. Yes, it is. Dan Trouble Llama. Um, and uh, I had a little look online at toxic waste, and there's quite a lot online on Amazon I can get. Hey, all right, bird. Uh, there's quite a lot online I saw. We've also got warheads. Apparently lemon warheads are pretty good. Apparently they're stronger. Dan is from the street. That's the that's word on the street, Dan. We don't dish your rep. Howdy. <laughs> is that what they say on the streets? Howdy. Uh, watch that llama in the Audi. I oh, know. Howdy, watch that llama in the Audi. We're getting um, poems on our chat here. Casey, I don't know if you're missing out. All right, one one lap and uh, enough for a pretty much a lap of fuel. So, so <laughs> good lap. dangerous Dan. Yeah, he's known for it. You see, uh, we are we're doing all right, but there's some fast people out there. That's for sure. It's not that Dan I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, no, I think he's out there, isn't he? You want to watch out, buddy. Forty-one on the server. Yo, Matt, how are we doing, Very buddy? Very nice. That's good, isn't it? Very good. Very, very good. Very nice. He said that because I'm from Texas. Ah, okay, birdie. Dave, watch out! I am coming for you. <laughs> Dan, Dan, leave him alone just for one race. Don't kill him, please. He's a nice guy. Hi, is and currently. Oh no. Ah. Uh, Unfortunately, in our in our in our community, Katie, there appeared to be some um, what should we say? Uh, rivals, unintentional rivals, maybe. Who knows? I don't know if there's another word for that. But um, yeah, unfortunately, David Realtor keeps getting punted by um, uh, was it uh, Skydiver Dan, one of our stewards? He keeps getting punted by him. It's not good. I mean, to make You're it worse, back. I was trying to start a rivalry with Juan. Well, yeah. I mean, to make it worse. Uh, Dan's son got in the car, which was really cool. He did a race with us. And then he punted okay. um, David as well. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so clearly it's a family thing. Right, uh, right, right. Yeah. So I don't know what to say about that, really. Uh, my time zone, I'm still in the office. I'm so sorry, Matthew. We do do races on Saturday to try and cater for our American friends. And I hope to catch them. So we do races on a Saturday evening. This one is going to be 90 minutes of Nordschleife Life on Saturday. So if you had a chance to join us for that, Matt, that'd be awesome. Uh, Stefan Haim across the line with zero fuel. Was your engine going full pelt, do you reckon? Andy Drake got killed Llama. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I saw it in the chat. What happened, buddy? You've been naughty. To Andy's defence, he got punted. Oh, it's, it was turned out it was revenge. Wow. It was a pretty fr funny crush, though, Andy. There we go. Casey is right behind me. I don't know if that says more about you or Casey, Juan. I'd uh, rather how, have a root canal. How long is the race? It's 30 minutes, and it is accelerated right. time, so I had a few clicks. Because you'll get a bit cold. Right, right. Rarish disqualified himself, so he can start at the back. Naughty boy. 42 on the server. Go on, lads. Brain fart moments is Andy. Ah, well, we're not robots, are we? As long as these things aren't malicious, or you will be getting banned very quickly from our servers. I had to hand out one or two bans before. No mercy. Have we banned? We have banned somebody over here. Yeah, we have. Well, timed out, I would say. Um. Yeah. No, no, we banned. We no. Yeah, you've had a few. You've had to kick out, I think. In your wild yeah, west. Yeah, I think so. Your Wild West servers. No intent at all, I never would. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious, Andy, to be honest. Daniel, are you streaming? Asked Matthew. Daniel. Oh, Dan, I see. Um, be ready. I'll either catch you and leave you in the dust or I crash. Uh, yeah, maybe. That's right. Mike says he fully yeeted somebody one time. <laughs> that's right. I, remember, I do remember that. Yeah. He had a nasty word with me on Discord afterward, too. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, yeah. The things they don't see, eh? The struggles we go through as streamers and, you know. It's tough Hello, life. Bolt. What's up, buddy? Well, are you? Is Bolt out here? He is. P5. I just got a P1 on the hellos. Light work. Yep, 
Yes, he is, Kaz, and he's going to cause the right trouble. Uh, we have we got a GT? I left it open. I thought I left it on GT3. Naughty me. Naughty me. Oh, well. One GT2, everyone watch out. Uh, everyone be super, super nice on lap one. Let's all create sim racing history oh, you're typing. Okay. clean start. Let's all create sim racing history. There we go. Right. Okay, guys, we've got one minute until we start a 30-minute race at Monza. This is going to be really good prep for next week. And I dare say the 27th of April, our first dance, round one is Monza, 60 minutes. So a little chance to size up some of your competition. Of course, there will be some improvements for some between now and then. But for others, maybe we plateaued a little bit, unfortunately. Is 65 litres enough? That sounds like too much, Dan, I'll be honest. Uh, if GT2 is open, I'm on it. Uh, now, next race is... Well, I might as well leave you on. Whatever, in it. P9 at the moment, says Dan. Yeah. 45 litres for the GT2. That's just cheating. Nice one, Atanasov. 30 seconds. You got your sales suites ready, Casey? Uh, sure. <laughs> Never yes, failed to I've let me this. down. Never failed. I'm taking a drink of Gerald uh, water. <laughs> uh, let's take down our little mango bazooka suite. How about that? Fruity. All right, I'm going. Uh, I'm going global mute for the race, Jeff. Cool. All right, I will see you after the race. Cool. See you then, buddy. I don't need to mute myself. Right, let's go, gang. Going double file. Yes, he is, Matt. Well, so am I. Okay, so here we have a community race. Drop in at Monza. Let's see how it goes. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. <laughs> and that. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Was a community race. T1 at Monza. That's how you do it, champs. That is how you do it. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Oh. Buddy, you kind of... <sighs> That's unfortunate. We'll let everyone go. Oh, I could reverse. Look at me jinxing it. I get to fight from the back. Good evening, John. I get to race from the back now. That'll be different. There's a big old queue. I was the only one who got spun out there. It was a kill, wasn't it, Sydney? Unfortunately, he tried to turn in on me, and he should have left a little bit of room. How you doing, Sydney? Why aren't you in the race? Well, you're going to join the Porsche Cup later. That was a bit unlucky. Yeah, he turned in, and then he also then... When I drove away from it to try and avoid him, he then spun me. <laughs> I was miles off track at that point. Quite funny. Hey, right, it's alright. We'll get a chance to do a little bit of racing. Well, they look like they're having a lot of fun together. Hopefully we don't get too many salty messages. But we've definitely got to cut our way through the field now. Depressed from the Nords race. <laughs> got killed three times. Oh, mate. Uh, Sydney, I'm doing one tomorrow on stream. Instead of Kyle Army, I'm going to do one of them. And it'll be... Um, yeah. I'll be experiencing it. 
Sydney, do you have the spring in your Husingville brake? Do you have the little spring in there? We've got to try and catch up with the pack now. I still have it. Interesting. I've removed it from mine. It does feel really good, by the way. I've also only got the hard, like, polymer in, so there's really no travel. Yeah, I'd encourage it. I'll say mine was definitely a bit... It's a bit spongy, the spring. When you have that and the elastomer, it, it leaves you a bit unsure because of that travel. You don't really know when that travel's coming sometimes, right? That makes sense. You don't really know when that travel's coming. Yellow flag ahead, watch out in front. Oh, there's Bolt, I know Bolt's fast. There's a slow car up ahead. Slow car? Oh, wow. That is ultimate chaos. Look at this. That's a big boom there. Everyone taken out. Yikes. When it rains, it pours at Monza. Look at this. Absolute carnage and devastation everywhere. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Incredible scenes here. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I guess there's two sides to every community race coin, isn't there? Jeez, Louise. Sorry about that, everyone. You got caught up there pretty bad, I'd say. There we go. Right, we have managed to get ahead of a whole bunch of people. And I think we've got zero damage. Or at least not a lot. Yeah, two seconds. Lovely. Let's go, team. Head down. Let's do some good laps. Rarif with a dive bomb going off track. Now leaving himself exposed by giving the position back to Guy. Yeah, it happens, Dan. It does happen in racing, you may have noticed. I hope that doesn't happen in the... Uh, <coughs> in our first dance. Hello, Guy. That was a nice early break in the there right. from you, sir. Love your work. I know he's quite new to the racing, so... Great to have you with us. And if you're listening to me on your headset, that's probably going to put you off. I think Raris has probably got loads of damage, which is great. Means he shouldn't be able to get away from me. Maybe me and Raris can get through the field together. So, Tony said, don't you love it when you just took your car from the dealership to your workplace after a limping issue, but after 20 minutes of leaving the office at home, the car starts limping? Ooh, not good. I just took the silly sausage. I shouldn't do that. I should not do that. I just told Casey about that 10 minutes ago. And then I went straight over it. Oh, it's Bolt. Bolt is fast. <clears throat> Bolt, take Rarish and then I'll help you. We'll cruise on ahead together. I can't see P1, unfortunately, but I don't think it's Knudsen because he's car one. Car on the left, clear on the left. Well, that was a save, and thank you, Rarish, for avoiding that because I nearly wiped you out, buddy. I nearly wiped Rarish completely out there. Go on, Bolt. Off you go, buddy. That's yours. Go on, Bolt. Okay. Okay. I nearly completely destroyed Rarish there. Whew, yeah, that was close. Almost. I'm really glad he saw me coming because I was, um, my mind was elsewhere as we came into the braking zone there. And I was like, oh, there's a braking. Let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. Oh. Can I do P2? Thank you, Hamer. <laughs> That's quite funny. I appreciate it.
I might have to get race control to give us updates when we're in the main racing. Uh, when we do our first dance. I think that'll work out quite well. We've got Lister up ahead. And Ulrich. It's a GT2 in P1. I'll oh, get in, lad. That is Singularity. Right, let's see if we can catch up to Lister, Mills and Ramonti. Uh, Sydney, what car have you been driving on the Nordschleife this week? Are you Lexusing? Are you Ferrariing? What are you driving? Oh, Dargo killed everyone. M4! Oh, go on, Sid. Easy hello there. His car did a very weird snap there. I don't know if you saw that. It's almost like a lag. Right, Speedy Dan is eight seconds ahead. I'm not going to catch these guys, am I? Wow. Slow car ahead. Oh, looks like Raris had a little whoopsie going too fast on the Parabolica. Lifted. He's going to come back at me. That's a really poor exit there from the Parabolica. I need to tuck into this Ferrari, get some slipstream. Sorry for JH, Clarkson, Van Riesbergen, Jones, Pridden, Spiteri, all stuck in the pits after a pretty horrific accident. And that is how you get straight into it. For T1, he's not going to make that. He's there. We'll go the long way round. And away. And away. Where are we? P24. Woo. Ulrich up ahead. We are slowly catching. Let's see if we can put some time on him. And Cross. There's a long way to go. There is a long way to go. Let's just do it neat and steady. Do it neat and steady. Tire pressures are okay. It's definitely going to get dark here, that's for sure. Poor, very poor on that turn. Lost time as well, but very unstable. Easily bin it there. Easily bin it. Hmm. Trump slowing the car down. Oh, Bolt's coming back again. And Rarish. As soon as I go a little bit slow, well, eight tenths actually, it's a very bad lap. They are back on. I need to be a lot more consistent than this. That's a better exit. That's good. You see the Ferrari there, Bolt takes a much tighter line, doesn't he? Than we do. Does he know something we don't? A bit slow on the throttle there. A little bit slow. Ulrich still eight seconds ahead. Cooper, Chronic still 12. Are we going to catch these guys? They're looking fast. And these are guys from the fresh class. Oh. It's going to be a fast series.
You'd like that, wouldn't you, Sydney? You'd take the jag. Dude, sorry. Nice try. You're a pro. It's your fault for being so good. For being so wonderful. This is better race pace. This will get us closer to Ulrich. Come on, let's go. Can we maintain it a little bit? I said the Ferrari line. That's a terrible idea. I just lost about half a second trying to do the Ferrari line. What a muppet! All that hard work. God. <sighs> Come on. Let's get into 48 now. That was silly. Sydney, can you imagine how excited I am about getting my Sim Magic Alpha Mini and the GT Neo? Because I'll be honest, when I got the Thrustmaster, while I was very excited and it felt amazing, there was probably this thing in my head of, is it going to break because it's Thrustmaster sort of thing? Because the other DD worlds don't seem to have many problems. Well, apart from Fanatec, I don't know, it seems to break a lot, but then they sold quite a few, so it's kind of hard to know, statistically. But, uh, yeah. I don't think with a Sim Magic Alpha Mini, I'm going to be particularly worried about any issues with things breaking. Of course, it can happen, you know, just electronics. But I'm pretty sure it's going to feel pretty awesome. And we already know the GT Neo is an absolute winner. All the YouTubers are raving about it. Don't take your hand off the wheel when you have it. Oh boy, yeah, that's for sure. I have to get used to that again. I'm used to just, you know, taking it easy with a bell drive, having a little chat with you guys, gesticulating. Bolt having a much better ex entry into that than I did. Caught me up by quite a lot of time there. Hey, purple! No. Purple. I mean, compared to the T818, where I've seen other people having big problems as well, clearly, since the purchase. Uh, yeah, I think we're in a different league here with the GT Neo and the Sim Magic Alpha Mini, to be fair. So I'm very excited about that. Um, the auction for my Frostmaster builds has probably just finished. So hopefully we'll see a bit of money from that to help pay for the GT Neo. Still not a 48. It's not good enough. Two behind me then 48s. Yeah. That's what worries me. Not a bad start there, three temps. I'll take that. Less than a month to go, guys, until we all meet at Brands Hatch. Don't forget that. 5th of May. It'd be incredible if you could all make it. 5th of May. Fancy it, Jensen? That'll be a warning. Don't know. Apparently not. Let's let Rarish and Bolt fight behind us. That's great news. We are slowly catching all it, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough. We're running out of laps. Time flies when you're having fun at Monza. Temple of speed. That was pretty rough from me. Let's switch lanes. Let's keep Bolt on his toes. That didn't work. Okay. We had to have a perfect acceleration out there. And I think we just beat Bolt to that as well. And we're getting into 48. I'm going to N24. Ah, uh, Jensen, next year, I want to try and organize, if it's possible, a European 24-hour TSC meetup. Nordschleife or Spa, I'm guessing. They're the obvious culprits, aren't they, as it were? Um, ooh, another couple of attempts on the exit. Hello. Yeah, if we could get a Nordschleife gang meetup, that'd be awesome. Or Spa. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. 
I guess the Nords might be a bit more unique. I don't know. Exactly, we do that. Do we let him come? Or do we just take his keys? Feels a bit mean. That was awful. There goes half a second. Oh boy. At least we didn't bin it. At least we didn't bin it. Looks like Rarish and Bolt just don't have the uh, the skills. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Wonderful drivers. I got a warning for a track car. I don't remember that. Unfortunately, Sydney bought a DD before DDs were cool, so he's got a CSL. Hey, Sidders. Just solidified my victory there, a double hello. Ooh, 4.3 to Ulrich. Come on, Dan. We're going to catch you. You're going to the 24 spa? Yes, nice. Yeah, man, after I bought it, it dropped to the price. Oh, what? After? That's crazy. Oh, yes, Matt. Unfortunately, you're, um, you need to admonish your flatmate. He's destroyed our race and the hopes of many drivers. And he is going to get a lengthy ban from the cafe, unfortunately. This is the rules here. Just like LFM, if you cause a massive pileup, you're out for, for, for about three months normally. Like a banishment. Uh, we'll also make you walk through the Sim Racing Expo in Dortmund um, while we throw vegetables at you and shout Shane. That's a real public flogging for Dargo. Right. We'll buy his tickets, but you know. You have to get his own flights. Indeed, good old Dargo. Drago. We have a neutral delta. Too many men, too many men. Too many men in here. We need some more girls in here. We need some more girls in here. Ooh, that's a nice race pace. That's a nice race pace. Look at that. 20, a 48 seed. Oh, hello. There you come, George. Hello, George. It's my teammate. My teammate from the N24. We share blood, sweat, and tears together. Oh, that's a poor T1, that is. That's a shocker. Purple sector? What, for me? Probably not. Are you getting a different overlay to me? Oh, we're at three seconds. Are oh, we going to be able to catch him? We can now see him and a little selection of cars, actually. He means, oh, right, there we go. That makes sense. Right. So we have caught up with Cooper and Ulrich. They were 10 and 12 seconds away. There's now only eight minutes left in the race. And myself, oh, I don't know where Bolt's gone. Oh, Bolt. Oh, that was wonky. That was so wonky and Rarish knows it. Guys, can we not do salty chat on the server, please? I mean that. That'll also get you a ban. Rara surely hasn't got the line. Nor have I. I messed up my front grip. Oh, we nearly touched. That was close. Good racing, bro. Wow. 
Really good racing there with Rarish in the sister TSC Porsche. Of course, I've now got the slip. Last All of the right. late breakers. He's still there, let me in. Clear on the right. Ramos, away right. we go. Look at this side by side. Love it. Great racing. Clear on the right. Tuck in behind him on the Curva Grande. Extreme speed. Oh, we didn't have the room there. We couldn't touch him. We got a better exit though. Oh no, messed up. I was trying to avoid him. I couldn't keep my power down. Ah, I really want to keep the power down there and end up squirreling away. Good race and off he goes. Fly, Rarish, fly. Fly like a bird. Not like that, mate. That was a bit squirrely. <sighs> we still haven't caught Ulrich yet. Rarish, just slowed me down. Let's get Ulrich. Come on, bro. Let's get all let's get all right together. Come on. Oh, that is slidey. I tell you what, if it's a race, I'll be wanting to pit soon. Come on, come on, guys. Let's go. Got five minutes left. No, no, gents. You're a bad influence. You are, aren't you, buddy? Someone's gone into the parabolica wall. A la Charles Clerk. That must have hurt. Do you know what? If ever I've seen a Formula 1 crash that hurt, I think about Charles Leclerc going into the Parabolica. I tell you, that must have... Oh, I bet that one hurt. I know obviously Max's one at Silverstone was grim, to be fair to him. But, um, yeah. Car on the left. Clear on the left. And we have a four-car pileup. There's only five minutes left in the race. And look at... Oh, no! Ulrich hit that inside curve that kills your speed here. Look, you don't want to touch that inside curve. There's a little hop. It doesn't unset, it doesn't make you crash, but look what it does to your speed. Absolutely kills you. Horrible. And we're, gonna, we're gonna use that inside space. It is going incredibly. What about you, sir? I had to pit for gas. Oh, good work. Love you. I didn't even fuel calculate, I just didn't bring enough, period. Like, <laughs> Crazy. I went for the classic Road to Racer 20 minute race fuel. Oh, nice. But that went well. So you were flying, going, oh, look at my speed on a straight line. And then. Can't take him anyway, guys. <laughs> Rarish feeling my um, pain. It is so sketchy around it, and I'm pretty sure he's got damage anyway. I'm sure he'll tell us. Show Beard the replay. He hasn't put all the blame away, has he not? He's a very good friend, his Beard. I'll tell you that much, Dargo. He's a very, you're going to keep him around you. So, guys, we worked really hard to catch that group, and then we ended up taking them both in like one turn, really, wasn't it? It was quite crazy. Ulrich on the inside, and then Cooper on the next turn, I think. Done. That's it. We've got a clear road ahead of us now, a long way, up to car 57, Misford. Misford, Misford. Not Misford, Misford. Right, it's me going very slow into T1. That's not helpful for anyone. Let's go, Dan Ulrich on my case. He doesn't want me to get away that easily. I get you, I understand. Oh, we can see P1. Nudson is back in P1 from Hamer from Atanasov. GT2 is in everything here. Probably had a moment trying to keep away from GT3. Llama, P5. Go on, Llama. Good work for Dotsha, P4. And what a fun race this has been. I've really enjoyed that little chase. Me and Rarish and Bolt staying together, doing mid 48, caught up with that pack, and then just bang, bang, straight done. Meanwhile, Rarish bins it at, um, oh, I'm getting my words wrong, Ascari coming up here, which I must admit I am really struggling with at the moment. I am really struggling with Ascari in the Porsche right now, 30 minutes into the race. 
Oh, mission's gone a bit wide. Is there a chance to get another position here before the race ends? I think there might be. Let's go. Maybe I'll send a missile. <laughs> oh, that's the inside. On and away we go. Let's give him a bit more room than that. Nice work. Cheers, Miss Sid. Kind Fox spoke to him earlier on Discord. I had, here's a funny story. Uh, I'm sure you guys know LinkedIn. I checked my LinkedIn today. I had an invitation to connect from a Miss Sid. I was like, no way, is that from our community? Uh, no, it wasn't. Was it? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it was quite random. I was like, that's quite random, because it's a myth sub. Do you know what I mean? Like that's some common surname or something. I've never heard it before. Right. And it was a digital content creator or something, or works in digital, basically. I'm like, so that must be the guy from your community, Casey. But no. No, uh, never mind. Man talk. All the excitement for nothing. What's the best that been, Casey? Uh, it was a 140. Oh, I got my 148. Wow, really? 148. Seven. In the race. I think so. Yeah. You are motoring, uh, son. 148. Eight. 148. Eight. That's what I got. Yeah. Oh, well, it's very good pace. I've only done a 48.6. Best of my work. Okay. One lap coming up. Let's see what we can put on the board. worse than seeing the delta shrivel right right it goes from like plus or well, yeah nice green minus 20 and it just zero oh, well. Oh, well. fast in slow out oh he's letting oh i guess i should have waited up Knudsen's a second behind me uh, oh well and i have enough for just one more lap barely <laughs> <laughs> well they say we all need to practice so let's see what we can get Terrible exit from Lesmo 2. Oh, I forgot where we were here in the dark. Okay, looks like I'm just jumping chicanes. <laughs> okay. Fireworks, is it 4th of July? Stop and go for cutting. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you disgusting. I'm very wow, sorry, everyone, a, for the presence of one. car number five on track. I thought it would be a warning. Stinking out of the place. Oh, what, you went through hot on T1? Or uh, T2. T4, yeah. Or, well, the second, yeah, T4. Yeah, yeah. Get the aliens only one set of tyres for quality and race. Not the worst idea you've ever had, Flint. But let's face it, if people put in the work to be faster, should we be remotely anything other than proud of them and happy for them? Simple as that. If you want to be their speed, just do as many laps as they're doing, because trust me, they're doing plenty. Right. That race did finish. Why do I feel like I can... Yeah, I did finish the race. Oh, silly me. That was a really cool race. I enjoyed that. Thank you to everyone who took part. Thank you to everyone who didn't massively pile up in the second lap. That's a shame. Um, that was cool. Uh, okay. GG's. Yeah, that was a cool race. Thank you very much, everyone. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Rarish, I ran out of fuel before the finish line. I knew you were fast for a reason. Flint says, give the... I'll never oh, be that fast. God. Well, you know. You finished, buddy. Yeah, they threw a 40-second penalty on me. <laughs> oh, you're disgusting. You'll be at the back for that one. Oh. Uh, congratulations to Knudsen and then Hamer and Atanasov in the GT2. 
heroic stuff there. Uh, Dosh uh, uh, and Llama and NT, that's uh, Kaz. Vols P7, Effect 8, Vince 9, Matter 10, and the rest of you. Something happened either to the Audi or my pedals. After lap 9, I started losing 0.3 from T1. That is weird. I hope it's not your pedals, bro. I hope it's your tyres. Should have streamed it. <laughs> uh, I got hit and crashed into by only TSC members. That's how we do it here, Rarish, at TSC. We'll crash you up good. There we go. Sorry for the tap into Ascari. I did all I could to avoid you. Who, me? David, did you hit me in Ascari? Or someone else? Rarish. There we go. Right. A good race, though. I was, well, we've got uh, a fun race well. now. We've got a fun 20-minute race coming up now. A 20-minute race. What's the what's the weather? Uh, crazy. Um, I, I'm not sure whether to do random or just wet. Because sometimes random is just dry. Even if you push the settings right. quite hard. Right, right, right. But let's do it. Let's just do random. It's more fun when it's random. You can get like stops and starts okay. and rain. Rain halfway through okay. the race. That'd be quite funny on a 20 minute one. Good luck to everyone for that. You won't be worth pitting. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go. So, boop, 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 boop. what do I need to change? I'm going to leave the GT2 available. Why not? Uh, let's delete practice session. Qualifying 12, race 20. Where the randomness? Let's give it a 5 and a rain. Yeah, this is going to be mental. Let's monsoon it. Oh, no, let's uh, make it a bit earlier in the day so people's GPUs don't die. Just being nice to the community, you know. Very thoughtful of you. It is, isn't it? I'm, just, uh, I'm not just a You say we're going to do a monsoon? Well, it's going to be, you know, probably wet. Got to go up at 3.15. Jeez, Andy. That's not even going to bed, that is. That's just stay up times. Uh, can we have a day race? Yes, Vince. Here we go. Rain, my favorite. Not. Oh, come on. You love it, Hamer. You love it. Um, Let's connect. I should have probably done a bit more time for the quality. Oh, look. It's a damp track. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, everybody. Come jump in the server. I probably should put 14 minutes on quality. I don't think we're going to get anyone at this speed. We'll get a few. I'm loving this. I'm loving the um, setup there. It's going to dry out over time. Wifey's waiting. Cheers, Dan. Got to drive to Norwich for 8 a.m. Yikes. Rarish says, David, you probably got a very good slip stream. Probably. Rarish got pushed by Bolt because I managed to trap him and he decided to make his own path. Yeah. Yeah, Rarish, too hot. You see, your style, it's dangerous. Kaz, I keep breaking late, almost driving to a lot of people. Glad I didn't kill anyone. <sighs> hey, it's. You know, NT, it's one of the skills of driving in packs, right? People around you are going to... Even if they break on their mark, because of the concertina effect, you're likely to hit them. So you have got to break a bit early when you're in a pack. The wonderful news is you should be even slower and more stable for a clean exit. So you should ultimately have better exits. You know, it all works in your favour in the end. Cheers, Knudsen. Had to do homework. Oh, man, you're that young and you're that fast. How gutting for the rest of us. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. There goes my esports ambitions. Where are the stewards when you need them? Rarish, you're all on holiday. No, I think we might have some stewards for this race, actually, if they want to make themselves known in the chat. That'd be cool. Oh, really? I think so. They're, one of them was racing in the first race, so they didn't really go for it. But I think this little 20-minute race, they might have a try. We'll see. <laughs> They've got a lot of practice to do, obviously, as much as they can. It's not easy. If you want to see it, Casey, it's crazy. Like, can you imagine in the first Nords race they did the other day? Can you imagine in lap one, 60 incidents? Imagine 60 things to look at, 60 different replays and make judgments on. Yeah. Right? So, and yeah. and the reality is, a lot of them won't be um, penalties. It's just like, because it registers every single contact. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, a lot of them won't be, like, you know, a big thing. But it's still, uh, you have to look at it to know whether it's big or not. And then once you find out it wasn't, yeah, okay, great. Then you can move on to the next one. But you still got, yeah, a good, hunt, what, 60-odd in one lap. And also you'll get more throughout the race. It won't be like that in the main series, I dare say. Oh, cheers, Lister. Thanks for coming. Uh, Poop, you're as fast as me. Oh, yeah. yeah. We need to leave and rejoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, please do. Where's the rain, asked Ganja. I think you will see plenty of it in the race, if I didn't know better. So watch out. And also the track is damp. So good luck trying to do a normal lap here. You'll find your tyres are cold and you will not be able to break. Guys, I'll leave you with Casey. I'll be back in two seconds. Howdy, partners. We, uh... <laughs> 
Hope the boys are ready for some wet racing. Uh, uh, he said it's he said it's damp out. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, mildly moist. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to load up load up dries. I think you still use dries on damp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what we'll do. Let's get out there and struggle. But yes, Keith Wilson, you need to leave and rejoin. Uh, Monk's got you. This bearded fellow popping out in front of me. Who we got? Cooper. Cooper. How was Cooper's uh, race last time? I heard you say his name once. It was right behind me. It was right behind me. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I did uh, 49s consistently. After that big wreck behind me, it was only a couple laps and everybody was kind of catching up. I had got up into a place where I wasn't qualified. <laughs> and it showed. Trying to take bites out of Cooper's bumper. He's like, me by. <laughs> We're both on our out lap here. Ooh, the curbs getting a little slidey early on. Uh, my default that I loaded up is pretty poor. Uh, yeah, I've got one at 49, or, uh, 24.9, yeah. Now the forecast down there, that's just forecast for qualifying, right? That doesn't bleed into race. Oh. Right, right, right. Hello everyone, we're back. The track is now greasy. It's a good time for me to go out and do a lap. I was off at Parabolica in case we passed me. I caught up by T1 lol. as his straight line speed is crazy. Um, what did I miss in the chat? Sorry, uh, a couple of things. Uh, Rarish, I didn't see you on my left until I was pushing into you, then you left the room, so I went for it. Uh, my bad overall. Made so many mistakes that race. Oh, bolt. You have room because you pushed me wide and I didn't want to spin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, well. Most of all, guys, don't forget to say hello. If you are in Casey's stream or my stream, and you are the kind of person who watches but doesn't talk very much, I do that in a lot of streams. I don't know about you, Casey. Um, yep, ma yep, yep. Yeah, maybe it's a good time to say hello in Casey's chat and my chat. Just say hello, let us know you're watching, let us know you're alive. And it'll be good to hear from some of you. That's why we've got it in we mind. We want to get them talking because the more, that they're, the more likely that they're talking, the more likely they'll join things like the first dance. Yeah, definitely. And our future series. I'll tell you, there's a few ideas I've got so far. So Casey, you know I talked to you originally about the idea of doing our little... Um, team cup where it's our team versus your team right. right right i'm thinking you know bongo racing's about he's got a community and we could turn it into a three-way and i don't know if that'd be more interesting and obviously we'd then get like we could get teams of two drivers and we could get probably 15 from each community or at least 10 probably at least 10 from each oh, community maybe 15 cool. and then you've got like a 40 car 45 car race um yeah with three communities fighting it out Ah, I knew we got in the chat. Sim Racing are new. Good to see you, sir. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we don't... same. He's over here, too. Don't see him on track. We won't judge him, but hey, here you go. 33 on the server. Nice to see. It is now pretty much dry out here. My uh, tyres might get a bit cosy in a moment. Let's see if we can put a lap in. Yep, mine are almost cosy. Yeah. Track is green, so don't expect any heroics from me. Oh, there's no grippers Herb, there. What's up, buddy? 
getting an LFM later. Wow, it's already late, buddy. Or do you mean the 9 p.m. at Kyle Army? Sup, Herve? Is it just been in your chat? Yeah. Nice. I don't recommend seeing, recognize seeing you before, Herve. So good to see you in the chat, sir. Welcome. Now, if you haven't seen it already, we have got the world's second best Discord here for you to join. It is the last one you'll ever need to join. You join Casey's and then you come over to ours as well. Evening, Pierre. Don't see you here too often, sir. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you just you've got no heart, you know. Maybe. Pierre's my co-pilot most of the time. Nice. He walked me through pretty much my entire uh, community spa race, a two-hour. Cool. Kept me level-headed the whole time. Big help. Yeah, it really does. I used to have a uh, Greg doing that for me in chat. If he's ever around, Greg, are you lurking, Greg? My little, uh, I think West Coast buddy. And yeah, you used to always help me out. Like I say, with the mental side, right? Yep. Well, the tire pressures were low. My gosh. <laughs> Another mid 27s. Beautiful. Yellow flag in sector three. Where do you see track condition at? So, um, have you got the thing that cycles through your different menus on the bottom left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the third one, no, your pit stop one, sorry, I think it is. On the pit stop menu at the top. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, track green. Is that what you're looking at? Yep. Yep, it's green. Okay. Uh, yeah, green, then fast, then optimum, right? So it is a little way to go. Oh, okay, okay. You won't be getting PB, that's for sure. Just be clean. And it literally means K uh, green, right? As in the, the track has been washed of all the rubber and stuff. Right, right. Because what happens is over the course of a race weekend, as cars drive over the track and they all drive on the same line, they lay down rubber from their tyres, right? Deposits in small amounts. Right. That builds up over the course of a weekend. And by the end of the weekend, that racing line is a lot grippier and faster than being off it. Because of the rubber that's been put down by cars over that weekend. And if it rains at any point during the weekend, it kind of resets that. Okay. That makes sense, though. And you're back to a green car uh, track. I actually watched my first um, GT race this weekend. I watched, oh, wow, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> on YouTube, I watched GT World uh, Sonoma. Nice. Well, I'm kind of wondering about the impact of things like ACC and iRacing on the world of GT racing, because I'm pretty sure before not that many people were that interested in GT, to be fair. But I mean, you look at a lot of their streams now, they're getting a lot of viewers and stuff like that. There must be more people wanting to go to the events and so on. So I'm pretty sure sim racing has had a pretty positive impact on GT racing. Right. I also see people yeah. like Super GT and Jimmy obviously now doing GT4. And of course, all the people are then going to watch it because of that. That's got to massively oh, exactly. increased their viewership, right? So. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm sure it's only a positive effect. The uh, I know that I watched. Uh, ha I, I so went back and watched half of uh, the Paul Ricard race, Yellow the two and a half hour, mm -hmm. and um, they had a Mustang GT in there that actually looks yeah. really sick. Yeah, everyone wants it in the game, don't they? We'll see. Uh, here's another one, Casey. Have you got your timetable button on your steering wheel, so you can see no. the timetable? No, it's not. No, it's tab. Oh, <laughs> oh, you need to bind that, bro. That's an important one for any streamer. So you can show the show chat. the leaders and where they're yeah, at. Yeah, show the race. Yeah, uh, and also it turns out, as Sydney just told me, if you look in the top right when you do that, it also shows you the track and where they're in tops. Oh. Yeah, which is probably a bit easier than cycling. Who knows? Right. So thank you very much for that, Sydney. I knew you'd be useful someday, Sidders. That's why I kept you around, buddy. Never, never doubted you. Always optimistic. I watched Jimmy's race on Nords for a bit. Yeah, nice. There you go. So I think I must be having a positive impact on GT. We'll see. Right, 34 brave souls. There must be two GT2s, I'm guessing. Yep. Good luck to him. Hello, Patrick.
Yeah, it must be a positive. What I'm also interested in is seeing how the world of sim racing is going to affect GT racing in terms of skill. Because a lot of GT racing was previously made up of uh, rich elder gentlemen who wanted to have some fun. And that's kind of who funded it all. And they weren't particularly fast or professional, so you got the amateur series. And then you got the pro series, and these guys weren't getting a lot of, like, you know, uh, sim time because sims weren't that good years ago. So I'm kind of wondering, with all the sim time that these drivers are getting, and then all the people that are doing sim racing, like Jardier and so on, or Boothby, or James Baldwin, for example, who are super fast, and then they go into GT and just up the levels a bit. Could be interesting to see the evolution of it all, really. There's been times when GT classes have been very popular in the past, I think. BTCC, touring car in the UK, used to be really popular. Really popular. But yeah, it but I'm, so excited. I'm excited cool. to start following. I had, I had asked, I think, I think I had asked, I was muted during the 24, asked my chat what the mm -hmm. best way to get into GT racing was, because I told him that it's not something I grew up watching, you know, it's something I'm starting to be interested in. But it's almost been more of a hobby in the past. Like, it wasn't a big, big, big spectatorship, no. Do you know what I mean? Right, and what I told him, I was like, I, I like I watch, but I don't know exactly with what purpose. Like, I don't know any of the drivers. I barely have like an attachment to a manufacturer car. Like, I don't really like. Like, I don't have. I drive a Ferrari on here, but really don't have an attachment to it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so what? What do I? You know, is there someone I'm supposed to be rooting for? What's the best way to get into it? And everybody's like, just watch for the racing, and eventually, you're um, you're gonna pick up on a manufacturer driver or something. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit like that, isn't it? It does help when you have someone in a sport that you're actually following, really. Right, um, right. right. It does add a bit to it. It gives you a bit more purpose and something to actually follow. So, yeah, I do think that helps, and I'd always encourage that, really, of a sport. Just better. And like I say, oh, whether it be a team like or race, a driver. Uh, Sorry? Sunny? Yeah, no, right. Sunny. So I said it's the problem. If I don't do set rain, sometimes on a random, oh, okay. you don't get it. I mean, it's what it is, isn't it? We had damp a little bit in the right. quality. That made it a bit different. But it looks like it's going to be a 20-minute blast. A bit more laps for everyone. Not like we don't need them. Where are you? You're P18. Okay. Tim Heineman in DTM is a sim racer turned racer. He is quick. Stefan, starting from the back, see where I end up. I'll end up doing that last one. Uh, are you a mod on both channels, or is that the same one? Sydney Santons. All oh, right, yeah, he sometimes uses work PC, and I decided to make that one a mod, just in case. All right, Casey, you got your uh, toxic waste ready? I sure do. We popped it. I actually, I'm just gonna swallow this um, <laughs> this ball shifter top from my Monza racing uh, H pattern to really get me fired Jeez. up for the race. That sounds insane. That sounds painful. <laughs> it does. It sounds all those things. Saying hello, <laughs> hello, toxic. Uh, thank you, Sydney. Try that. That's what you can say. Thank you. Right. Okay. Or oh, I love you too. That'd be nice. Gerald says, right. uh, how do I get onto this server? Whoops, too late. Uh, well, go to the announcement, or honestly, just go to the um, go to the server browser and just type in road road space number two, and it will come up, I promise. Yep. Probably even type road, and it might even come up. But road two, and you'll you'll find it. And if you want the password, it is, uh, it's over there in the Discord. Really easy. If I, same as every single race we do. Uh... Ralph, he just picks the wrong car. It's not his fault. He just has a very bad it, car choice. That's going to hurt pooping it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, gang, let's go. Let's he have a good server, race. But it won't let me in. Well, then it might have the password wrong, or is there a track? No. Safety 50 rating? SA. 50 SA. <laughs> so, 50 you know. safety rating. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's all. Oh, that toxic is. Oh, it's got all. Oh. Must have been a good one. Oh, yeah. yeah, sometimes it just, you know, it hits good. Uh, there we go. Oh, it sounds a bit like battery acid. Yum. Flip okay, says maybe cap block. I agree. <laughs> yep. Block. Or accessible servers. Anyway. Good luck on T1. Cheers. <laughs> Right. Clear on the right. 
Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Incredibly clean T1 from the community. Very proud of you all Ooh, there. Nice work. Look at him. Look at him go. Awesome work. No sign of rain on the radar. Fair enough. Car on the right. Clear on the right. T4, T4. Ooh, it's looking clean. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. The unicorn. Oh, 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 oh. Less most one. Sideways car. Nice. Dodge. Nice. Here's something to distract you, Casey. Okay. If you were going to do the perfect driver briefing for your community race, what do you think is the most important thing to mention? Oh, that's a good question. The um, most important things. The things that really matter. Was... That'll make a big difference. Huh. Give me, give me a second to think on it. Because right. there's been things we've talked about in our previous couple driver briefings. Clear on the right. Clear on the right. Um, a big one. A big one is the whole T1 conversation. That's that's a whole thing. Um, okay. Yep. Especially for whenever we were doing two hours on spa, you know. Yep. Um, I, w I, w I don't think that's the most important though. I feel like I always touch on a couple subjects and I can't remember. I don't know. What do you What do you have for it? Oh, I've got some biggies, yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think I, for I'm, me... I'm not, I'm, not all, I'm not about hotheads, so I always have a talk about managing your temper, managing your... Uh, the way you treat others on track and things like that. Um, but uh, you go ahead. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Uh, I think for me, one of the big ones is uh, rejoins. So having the right mentality when you rejoin. If you get hit off or you spin off or anything like that, um, please don't, you know, get hit up and then start trying to drive straight back on track again. Especially if you've been punted off and you feel wrong. So some people, when they rejoin then, nightmares, right? right. They've been hit off and it wasn't their fault. And, uh, and you sort of get a bit, you know, who cares attitude. So we need people to manage that as best as possible because you will probably get hit off sometimes by someone. We are racing. There's going to be 45 cars on track, you know. It's probably going to be some contact. You do get that a lot in real life racing, right. that's for sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, how you rejoin, I think, is super important. I think most accidents, big ones, are the rejoins, really, because the main accidents that happen, you know, unless it's bouncing between walls, everyone can avoid it. It's when you let your car roll around the track. It's when you try and rejoin in a crazy way, all that kind of stuff. Part of it to try and gain back some position, of course, because the quicker you get around, the better. But the reality is, especially if it's early on in the race, there's going to be a lot of people in the snake and you'll probably have to wait for that whole snake, really. Unless there's somewhere right. off track you can turn around the other way where you don't go near the track. You might get away with it. But no, we will be incredibly hard on penalties for rejoins, bad ones, because it is in your control 99% of the time. There's some that are quite difficult. Like if you get bumped off and when you rejoin the track because you kind of kept your foot down, you rejoin in a way that's a bit risky for other people. And then before you know it, you caught the pile up behind you, right? So there's stuff like that, it's kind of hard to judge it in some ways, but by the same token, we can all think a bit harder about what happens when we get punted off and not panic and not get annoyed and not get stressed out too much and try and rejoin safely because when someone else ruins your race for a bad rejoin, it kills it, right? So I think, right. I think getting the rejoins right is very important. So here's a good one, Jeff. Uh, maybe you can help me respond to this. Silas in my chat says, to be honest, this is bad as a public lobby. Twice I've been retired. Oh, okay. Well, then I would say you're in luck. You don't even have to wait for us to stream. You can just go jump in a race at any time during the day. <laughs> there is definitely that side of it. Um, I don't know. I think, I mean, I got spun out in the first race. I think I was the only one who got spun out at the beginning. Um, I mean, uh, hey, yeah, no, genuinely, if you think it's like a public lobby, please don't let us stop you. Uh, is one way of looking at it. Um, beyond that, I think people have been quite good here, too, especially when you look at our lap one. Yeah. I mean, geez, come on, have a laugh. Uh, and then, of course, we do actually do a bit of stewarding on a lot of these. I don't know if we've got any live stewarding here. I haven't seen anyone. What I'm seeing is people taking absolute jumps on a Scari. That's quite funny. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, oh, I'm in a Clarkson sandwich. Could you think of anything worse? 
Ooh, I had a good. That was the best Ascari I've ever had. That was. Nice. Blaze through it. But no, Silas, I think that maybe you had a bad experience a couple races in a row, but um, I think happen. generally in our communities, we have uh, pretty like-minded people honestly trying to get better. And uh, I mean, me and Jeff both preach it to them all the time, yep. the track etiquette and things like that. So I think to say it's like public lobbies is unfair, but you know, you're, you're entitled to, you know, whatever you feel, so. Maybe do 10 races here and 10 in the public and say you feel then. Right, right. Oh no, I hit that curb on the inside at the end of exit of turn two. Ah, oh, it's killed me here. That was ugly, take it. Silas says once you take damage through no fault of your own and lose like 10 miles per hour on the straight, it's race over. I'm not, under I'm not sure I understand. I, and I disagree because I understand it, but uh. Hey, we all get damaged, and it's how you respond to that, right? You're never going to have the perfect race. It's quite rare. So when things do happen, it's about how you deal with it and how you manage and get the most out of it after that. I think Casey and I probably both had lots of races where we were half dead. I mean, hey, what about my lap at um, the Nordschleife, saving our 24? <laughs> with an upside-down wheel, I couldn't even shift. Uh, going through fast sections of the Nordschleife with cars coming past me, and I managed an 11-minute lap. I'm probably more proud of that lap than any other from the race. Right, 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 definitely right. the hardest. Uh, um, for a large part, it was 90 degrees and then I hit another bit of wall and it was 180 and then yeah all what bets were off then. What a fantastic lap that was to be part of even a, even yeah. spectating like yeah. getting tire pressure well, the, the, to me the most exciting part of that was you going down the straight with your wheel at 180 and setting up a pit stop strategy oh, having yeah, to drop was, each tire 20 clicks. <laughs> that was grim that was really grim uh oh. yeah and then I got do you know I got lucky right because I was changing the driver and then I panicked for the um, uh, pit limiter, right? So I stopped changing driver. And then right. luckily it was on Rarich. Imagine if I put it on Miles, he wasn't even there. Oh my, you know, I didn't think about that. Could you yeah. have requested somebody who wasn't in? Uh, uh, yeah, well, oh, that's a good point. Oh, maybe it only cycles through active actually. So I'll at least it got away with that. It might cycle through active. Yeah. Because, well, if it, if it doesn't, that's extremely lucky. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, can you imagine? I was just sat there like Muppet with my old... I could start calling him George. Call your brother. Call your brother, George. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah, that would have been pretty horrible. I'm having a good old ding dong with Miles right now. We are both. Oh, I broke too early there. That's silly. He's got that one. We are both going to be in the build class, and we're having a massive fight here on you're, the not Monza. You're on P12, awesome. right? Uh, seven, I am. Oh, P7. Oh, that's a terrible Lesmo one. Miles will get away there. No, I just did something very silly. Uh, the car behind was an Aston Toxic. And I've lost it now. He's gone. Nearly, nearly screwed the turn up completely. Got lucky there. Completely lost my mind there thinking about what Toxic just said. It's an Aston. There aren't many Jags on here. Just for the meme. Ooh, that's got to be a GT2. Gosh, fast. <laughs> right, what's going on at the front? We've got Kaz followed by Simba and Effect. Naylor. Is that the old Naylor? Bolt and the Clarksons. Go on, Clarkson. I just, I just saw, uh, just saw Hammer S Hammer take an absolute wheelie over Ascari. <laughs> Wonderful. Like, the oh, front, did he hit the like, inside right one? Did he, hit, yeah. did he hit the right sausage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those right ones launch you to the moon. Yeah. Right, 48, 9, 49, 6 from the cars in front. Let's see if we can catch them with some mid 48. That'd be nice. No, Toxic is completely my fault. It's the life of a streamer. It's so hard not to completely distract yourself. Has George just taken absolute liberties there with T1 again? I think he has. Joker. We, however, need to get in the 48th. Let's go. What's your best time, Case? Oh, I'm not doing well. I keep messing up T1. Ooh, okay. I, and I just dodged a bomb. Woo. <laughs> yeah, these public lobbies, they're rough, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, terrible. Who was that? I think that was. Oh, that was a GT2, I believe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little too much speed and a little too uh, less for on the brakes there.
He really does get it on the straights, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See ya. Silas says it wasn't meant to be an insult by any means. Just expect people to at least try and alter the driving style in lap one and two, L one two. Yeah, I think they are. I thought I've seen. I don't know. I don't know how lucky you get, buddy, but pretty much as clean as you're ever going to get, really. That race we just had, the both starts. I mean, come on. You're going to have to be unlucky. Is that? Is up here? And also, if you get a bit of damage and complain you're not fast enough, then that's up to you, I guess. It won't sound like you've been fully wrecked out at all. But you still own? Whatever works for you in racing. We always like to bring it home here at the Sim Cafe, regardless. Oh, we have a drifter. That looks awesome. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> What's he in? He's in a BMW. Just sliding sideways around final turn. Wonderful. Yeah, the BMW seems super slidey at the moment. When I drove it, it felt slidey. And whenever I'm around one, they seem to get very nose slidey. Yeah, the nose dives in and the bum comes out. It's weird. Arguably, this is one of the better tracks for streaming, though, and it's just the couple straights you get. Like, it's just so easy, and it's such an easy to memorize track that we all know. Yeah, this and the Red Bull Ring, that's only about six, seven turns to learn. Right, not a lot to sneak Easier for on beginners. You. Yeah, easier for beginners compared to eight minutes of Green Hell. Stop the BMW hate. Sydney, it's a reality, not a hate. I'm just, it's what I see with my eyes, you know. I see them struggling around the track, poor thing. There is one or two at the top of our pro class in the first dance, so that'd be cool. It was a nice bit of variety, to be fair. And hopefully a few more of you freshies are going to think about getting out of that Ferrari. What about you, Casey? Ferrari all the way? Uh, I, I just be strictly just because that's what I've driven, as I've learned. Okay. No, uh, like I said, no attachment at all. I could literally jump to another one right now and probably learn to drive it and be happy with it. Okay. What, when was the last time you drove a different GT3? Uh, it was quite a while back when Mike tried was teaching me to drive the AMG like on a, like a coaching day. Okay. On screen. Okay. Well, while. now that you're getting quite you know nippy in your rig and quite used to everything, maybe you might want to consider trying the Lambro. Okay. I mean, I would be down trying it. What's the? What would you say the main difference between the Ferrari and Lamborghini is? The uh, Lamborghini sounds a lot better, looks a lot better, um, and I like the balance of the Lambo. It's a little bit more edgy in a way, but not a lot. It's not very edgy. Uh, I think it's got the best balance out of all the mid-engine cars that I've used. It's got great brakes. Might be better than the Ferrari. Uh, really great brakes. Um, yeah, good engine sound, everything else like that, which is quite important. So, I don't know, I just think it's uh, probably the best balanced mid-engine car that I've driven out of all of them. Uh, the Macca's got its, you know, Macca, you have to do everything at high speed, that's where it's good at. Uh, the Ferrari, I just find it gets a bit dull with the engine, a bit flat. <sighs> Never really feels like I'm racing it too hard, sort of thing. Just gets a bit plateaued on the performance quite quickly. Uh, the Lambo, no, it's good. I did drive, funny enough, when I looked at my lap, while I'd driven the most in LFM, I was surprised. I had a lot of it on last year, and then I switched out of it because I drove it so much, I do like a bit of variety. But, yeah, if it turns a different car to drive, I think you'd probably find yourself getting into it quite quickly, really. All right, Flint says he also likes the Lambo. There we go. Yeah, my Porsche Cup, the Porsche Cup will definitely be interrupted for me. That is okay, though. <laughs> All my laps are kind of flirting mid mid 149s. Jeez, pass them instead of 48 2. I'm trying to chase them. He's on a 48 2. They're off. See you later, boys. Lambo is hard to control in the rain. You should be scared of Maccas and Rari, says Sydney. Me not scared. Me drive Porsche for fun. So a very fast pace here. Less than five minutes to go in the race. Oh, flown by. 
It's a shame there's been no rain, but that's all part of the random weather. You never know. Swung too far, dang. And it's a phone call, and I hit a wall. <laughs> Beautiful. Poor George, he's been muscled out there by Naylor. Oh, Flint, I know, I know. Well, Flint, are you going to join us for the next race? We're doing a Porsche Cup race, buddy. If you're excited. Only going to be, what, two laps left? Yeah. Two laps to go. A good exit. Fair enough, bro. Is that because of the Porsche Cup? <laughs> no, I'm joking. It is hard work, isn't it? And you do some sudden snaps here and there sometimes. Got to catch them all. Eventually, your shoulders get a bit warm. <laughs> oh, terrible T1. What bad timing. Last thing we wanted to do. Bump that inside curb. Lost about a tenth or two. It's not from Tim Racing, I know, bro, I know. Hope it improves. Hope you're doing some exercise or physio that works it in the right way. Yeah, that was a bit hot. Well done, Jeff. Warning for exceeding track limits. Yeah, warning sh morning. Surprised how much I missed that one, to be honest. Naylor and Clarkson are at it. There's going to be one lap left after this and you know it's going to get hot. Miles has checked out up ahead. Unfortunate. Seventeen second damage. Need to see a doctor for an injection. Ah Yeah, good idea there. Cynic. I might just go straight at T one. Alright, managed to hold on to some position while I took a phone call. There we go. Oh, cool. Was it important? Was it interesting? Um uh, my wife just got off work. Oh. So she was just chatting about her day. I don't think Alicia's ever called me before. <laughs> Never called you? No. Yeah, she's, uh, Whitney's off doing, um, uh, military training, so. Cool. So she had a test today that she, she all night last night, I'm gonna fail. Oh, it's so bad she got 60 out of 60. Oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I kept telling her, I'm like, no, you're not. You're going to pass. You'll be fine. She's very, she's very, very book smart, very smart. No. I did demonstrate some distracted driving while I was on the phone, though, but I cleaned <laughs> it up and I even got me an overtake <laughs> uh, on the inside on uh, T1. I got wiped out of Scarry. Oh, someone crashed. Yeah, someone crashed ahead of me, and eventually they swung into me at the last moment. Unfortunately, oh, no. it was just the worst timing. Literally, the worst timing. That's cool. We did the race. Does feel like a public lobby. Yeah, cynic. I know about that. And Flint, sorry to hear that it hurts. Good to know you're alive and you still feel things. I guess. From way of looking at it. And it looks like Gange is going to hold off the Doge to finish in P9. 
Congratulations. P1 is Kaz. Well done, Kaz. Yeah, Flint, you should. Take some ibuprofen or paracetamol. Or just turn down, this, turn down your force feedback a bit, honestly. The gaining game, on the wheelbase, whatever. Just turn it down a little bit. And do some exercises. You know, like when you put your hand backwards and turn? That one's pretty wonderful. Have I finished? There's one more lap. Jesus, what is one going on there? There's one more I'm acting like the race is over. I thought we had... I'm confused now. Anyway. Let's go. One more lap, team. Vince, I don't know, man. I thought the race was finished. I don't know why I told myself two laps. I'm pretty sure there was... What did I miss? Whatever. Let's go. And Dosh has got ahead of Gange. No! Here says she's got to be smart. She's with you. But he spelt with as wit, which is funny because that's her name. She's with you. Uh, yeah, but the, the question is, do I take that as an insult or a compliment? Uh. Is, it, is, it that, is it that she's smart because uh, she chose me? Or is it that one of us needs to be smart? So it's, <laughs> it's a good thing that she is. I'm sure Pierre meant all the best. Who's that? We got a. Oh, what are you doing? We have damage at the front of the car. Box, we have to repair <laughs> oh, the car. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, is that one? I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I just wrecked out and it's the last lap, so I can't say hello. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering if you, how you're going to avoid that. I was going to finish I was like, yeah, where I was anyway. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you did well. You did well. You did well. Good race. Good race. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you, sis. You did. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. All right. I just saw a comment. I'm like, what is happening? I'm running out of room. <laughs> stitches get stitches. All right. Ah, yeah, that was yeah, a good yeah. race. It was a good race. Well done, everyone. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I wanted that to Stephen in the community. He was winning the um, bar first race, and I just cut the chicane down the hill straight through him. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, oops. <laughs> Poor guy was winning as well. Hey, he always wins though. He always it's like Knudsen, do you know what I mean? Like take one away, what's the, what is it? Do you know what I mean? Pierce says, what's your wing angle? Do you mean after the wreck or do you mean like in general? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can show you. I definitely want to see that back on your stream. <laughs> what's that like your face? <laughs> Right. I was uh, I was really confused. <laughs> and then as soon as I got hit, I was like, freaking Juan. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, gutted, ran out of fuel in the last lap, says Keith. Uh, that was me last race, except uh, I, I didn't, I just didn't pack enough at all. I had to go in for eight more liters. Well done, Dargo. Dargo didn't kill anyone that time. Um, yeah, poor Juan. He's obviously got a bit of a rep. <laughs> <laughs> it's really anything bad. Dad Juan! <laughs> oh dear, poor guy. Um, do you know what? I'm going to take the password off for the last race because there's no way in hell we're getting 30 cars on a Porsche car. I know yeah, what you do people it. like. Do it. Open, it, open it up. Now it is a public lobby. I know what you know. We'll do three trap medals so we get a chance to actually get some people on the server. Uh, and the safety rating will be 70 big ones. Um, actually, I'll put it on 60. That still gets 28 slots, I think. Right, uh, car group, there we go. Huh. And it's GTC, there's so many things that could go wrong, right? There we go, save and exit. Text edit here, we'll take the rain out, because, you know, Porsche cuts hard enough. <laughs> Don't need to kill ourselves. Uh, and let's have um, 18 and... 19 so it's not the other dark. day i heard you i heard you talking about your uh foot cam setup you know like how it's held up oh yeah yeah <laughs> you would be very impressed to see how mine is actually affixed to the to the rig really is it very they're professional it, it's, it's it slots into the t-slot the oh. underneath of the my so my wheel is mounted on an actual t-slot like uh, aluminum profile piece yeah like i drilled three holes in it and actually mounted the fanatec to it yeah um, and like it, there, you know, there's slots on the underneath side too. And the little, the little Logitech has that little grip that's supposed to grab the back of the monitor. It just slides right into the T slot. It is that like is, the cleanest thing ever. Fair. The yeah. server is <laughs> open. I can even tilt it up and down. Yeah, it's amazing. The server is open. Um, oh, Juan, I bet it did. 
Uh, Rarish, your link to Katie's stream don't work. I'm pretty sure, buddy, it's a link to his channel in my description, no? Because it was, I did it before, he put, I wasn't sure when he was putting his stream, so I just did that, and it's always ubiquitous anyway. Just go to his channel and subscribe. So don't give me any trouble, right? Am I in the wrong car? I never even put a link in my freaking Why thing. haven't I got a little... Blacker. Am I not in a... What car am I in? I'm not in a cup. How am I... It's GTC. How did I get in in the cup? I'm so confused. 404. Oh, I've done the wrong link, bro. I've let you down. Sorry. I need to do a new link in my description for your channel. There we go. We're back in the right car now. That was crazy. Right. No complaining. This is the best car in the game. Good luck to everyone. Has he come through? Fipsy said he's going to put a Porsche Cup set up. I'm not sure if he has. I think he's lying. Fipsy, where's that set up? Why you lie? In fact, I haven't even seen Fipsy here, to be honest. Oh, well. No setups. All right, let's go aggressive. <laughs> Low fuel, let's blast one out. Right, no excuses. Everyone on track, all right? No excuses. No tire warmers on this one, Casey? Uh, sorry, I was, I was, something crazy popped up on my phone. Uh, and wow. I got distracted. Crazy good or bad? Let's keep it. Uh, it's something about our school district. You know, a parent had a bad, uh, bad experience with their kid and uh, complete slander on the school district. And it was just a wild post. It's like going crazy. Wow. Wowzers. Yeah. Right. Wowzers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I need to pop to the toilet quickly. One second. If you really need to hear my voice. Get rid of the password and get in. Road to... I'm really sorry, guys. I took the password off to make sure we filled up the server. So you don't need a password, okay? There is no password. I'm in somebody's... Somebody's Porsche. She must have gave me the car file at some some point. The last time I did a Porsche Cup, you were like, that car's ugly as hell. And it's, uh... It, it, it says Apex not found. Who? I think that's Ilpo's. I don't know whose that is. Uh, he still, he still pops into Discord now and then. Oh yeah, they're they would I think they would rival each other. As far as I remember, Ilpo is really fast. Pierre says no TC, beware. I'm a, I'm a, I'm very aware. Um, right, I've done I've done well once in this car, um, on Spa that day. Right. The pit limiter kicked off and I almost died. <laughs> I was like, man, my fan it's my fan labs must have picked up something crazy. It threw, uh, threw me down to 20 uh, force feedback. I was like, this feels so weak. I fixed it. Okay, I'm going to pull it over. Some steering angle's way wrong, too. The fan, it must have set something crazy. Oh, no. I've got those car profiles loaded up in Fanalab. And it... Uh, yeah, it picked up this car, but I think the car profiles I got from somebody are for like a DD1. So it loads up like a lot less force feedback, and I'm on the fight, so I just need to go in and save after I get it set up. Pierce says the sound of the Porsche is so awesome with little hearts in his eyes.
Oh boy. Yeah, I can't. It's not even really the uh, sl slide in my back end. I just did not slow down for a scar. I went into third and just could not make the turn. Oh, they are. I've only got a couple minutes and I gotta go grab the kiddo, so. I don't even think it's the traction control that's gonna be killing me right now. It's just gonna be the figuring out where to stop. And like you said, my tires are like 25s right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on the road, shall we? Uh, what have I missed in the chat? Uh, boy, am I glad you're skilled. Ugly car, hold on. Oh, Rai Rai, how you doing, buddy? Great to see you. Um, I need, yeah, and you were showing me about um, Star Citizen, weren't you? And your stuff there, I think it was. That was pretty cool. Was it Star Citizen or was it? Oh, no, it was something else. Oh, no, it wasn't Star Citizen. It was something else. Oh, dear. I need to get into it. Anyway, I spy a Ferrari 992. Oh, dear. Yeah, someone didn't quite get the memo. This car is so awesome. Yes, NASCAR, we have been able to get 1k subscribers. I had to pay a lot of money for it, but it's worth it. See what I mean about the pit exit. Jeez. Ooh, it is getting traction control got me there. <laughs> it's going to be a fun old race. Oh, the car feels so light and alive though, doesn't it? Love the emojis there, NASCAR. Great work. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out. There's a slow car. So does the Porsche Cup keep pace with the uh, with the GT3s? No, I mean the best ones will get close, like scary close. Um, within maybe two or three seconds, I think, maybe one or two. Okay. But there is not as good braking, not as good high high ever level aero and yeah no traction so while the best can manage it you know some people drive with no traction don't they in the game right um, right yeah it's, you're not going to be faster i don't think maybe there's a few tracks i don't know if it's got a higher top speed actually so maybe on a uh, track with high straights it's very close i don't know oh stefan won one go on stefan congrats on the win yeah he's another few meters on the braking for now and it while the tires warm up yeah, got quite a quite a bit back for me compared yep. to the Ferrari. Yeah, get the tires warm. Takes a few laps. You see, I just blew in it. <laughs> Cute. All right, I'm I'm gonna pull over. I'm actually going to. I think I'm gonna go into my. Uh, I'm gonna mute Discord and I'm actually gonna end my stream. Yeah, that makes I sense. I need to uh, give my kid a little bit of attention here and uh, call my wife back. So. Cool. So, all right. But anyway, thanks for having me, Jeff. Uh, it's great to fill up lobbies like this. This is yep. the best part about combining these is getting a 40-something person lobby is awesome. Yep. So. Love it. Love it, bro. But, uh, uh, great chatting. I'll catch you guys later over there at uh, TSC. So. Indeed. Enjoy your point of meat. Cheers, bro. Yep. See ya. Uh, Cynic says, what's the law with the 992 cut? Why doesn't it have TC? Um, well, every different series has its own regulations, right? Um, cheers, Dave. So someone more clever than me might be able to tell you why the Porsche Cup regulations are the way they are. But I guess they decided the racing was more interesting without TC. I would say that. Uh, it might be cheaper cars in the end because of that. It's a one-car series, right? Just a Porsche Cup, as far as I know. I'm sure it gets blended in with other cars on certain series in certain races, just to make up the numbers. But yeah, it's got no TC, and that makes it a lot of fun. And in real life, it's quite popular, I think, the series. One of the more popular ones. Well, there you go. Maybe go say hi to the guys in stewarding if they're there, Dave. That's unfortunate. Oh, I'm very sorry. I just took out a Lambo. What are you doing, Vince? Vince, get in the Porsche. 
Vince. Naughty Vince. Vince, get in the Porsche, buddy. There we go. Got your PD down to 49.06 and had an invalid 48.6. Nice. Oof. Yo, yo, Pavel, how you doing, bro? We've got 27 on the server, which is awesome. Uh, we've got a Lambro. Vince, can you change, please? Hold on. I'll send him a little message. There we go. Yeah, we'll need to jump back on and Weber. There we go. This is a Porsche Cup race. Uh, yeah, Chronic, there's a few... Um, well, uh, just so you know, Chronic, the old Porsche... Um, the old Porsche will come up as a different class. Nice one, right? Ah, oh, in real life, most Porsche hired drivers come from Porsche Cup Champ. Very good proving ground. Oh, yeah, million percent. Hello, Motorhead. Monza, baby. Yeah. Uh, in the Porsche Cups. Wonderful. We've got an open server, so let's put out the message. I'm surprised this has filled up. I guess it's Monza. Normally, this does not fill up these races. So I'm very excited about this. Pretty cool. I hope you all enjoyed having Casey in the chat tonight. What do you think in the stream, guys? Is it cool having Casey there? You know, he's talking to people that you can't really see the chat of, I guess. But he makes it quite obvious what they're saying. So I hope you enjoy having Casey in the chat with me. Because I know I do. Makes it a lot of fun. Like I say, team racing is better. And this is kind of like halfway there. Right, last race of the evening coming up. After this race, I might be inclined to do my license for the Nord's Life. So look out for that. Or I could try and start my stream early tomorrow. No, that'd be a bit dangerous. I need to sign up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might do it after this race if you want to watch me mess that up. Can we not have race control do something about all these imposters? There was only two and they've gone. Be nice, Rarish. Be nice. They might not have realised they could pick the other Porsche. Yeah, it's good. Casey is a nice guy. I'm a fan of both Casey and you. Cheers. Cheers, Pierre. Like I say, it's great fun for me. I'm, I think Casey enjoys it. I hope so. So, yeah, I really enjoy doing that with him. It is quite difficult because we tend to stream at different times normally. So he is stretching a bit to get um, on, the on the stream with me. So that's cool. Uh, Rarish is P1. Go on, Rarish. Uh, Rai asked, how long are you on for? This is the last race... And then I might get my Nordschleife license after that, I think. I think I might get my Nordschleife license after the race. If I've got enough energy. I should have enough energy. Although the Porsche Cup will not be easy. Um, so there we go. Am I online tomorrow? Yes, I am, right. Doing one Nordschleife race. Uh, the 8pm Nordschleife race. It's going to be awesome. Tune in for that. I'm really looking forward to that. It's my first LFM Nordschleife sprint. A proper one. Uh, and the GT3, I've got a bit of learning to do. And then on Saturday, we've got a Nordsch Life 90-minute community race. Really looking forward to that one. So uh, how do you set up this thing? I have no idea, Kaz. Good luck. I'll have to run right after this well, race. Cool one. I might try and join. What, Saturday? Do it. Do it, right. Saturday's race is going to be epic. Please be extra patient. First lap. These things can get messy. And cold tires.
Uh, fuel. Yeah, you need it, Vince. You definitely need it. Three and a half a lap. We're going to do, what, uh, 10 laps? So 42, 43. There we go. Tires. I'm going to add another couple of clicks. Let's get them warm. There we go. I don't know consumption. Mine said three and a half. Put in 43. You'll be fine. Rave tomorrow. Sign me in. Uh, race Saturday. Oh, you're talking about the LFM race that I need to be signed in for. Also, if anyone wants to join in tomorrow night, LFM on the Nordschleife, 8pm, try and sign up. We might get in the same split. That'd be cool. See if we can get in the same split on the Nordschleife. Might save each other a bit. We can go in a little train. <sighs> no, I've, uh, I've enjoyed the racing tonight on Monza. It's been good. Right. I don't think I need a toxic waste, you know. I think it'll, I think it'll be too much in the Porsche Cup. Target acquired, car number 80. Everyone, we can't let him win. We can't sign up until tomorrow morning, David. Seen details on Discord. Uh, Motorhead, I try and keep the Discord. There is a Discord, by the way. What, the trophy behind me, can you see it? There's two of them, there's one more to pick up. I try to keep the, tr the Discord up to date. Because otherwise you don't want to use it. We're always the next week's racing. Good idea, Dave. Yeah, he should be. I was holding to get him. Someone missed their brake in the skittle cars. Not good. Sorry about that, team. Not much I can do about that. Oh, hello. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, it was terrible, wasn't it, Sidders? I don't know who it was. I hope it wasn't our community. It is a public lobby, by the way. Well, that was poor. Tires are cold. My heart is open. Let's go. Say hello! I'm going to miss that one. I can't have it. Oh, Alex gets it. Duh. Good, Dan. Uh, Dan, do you want to do a few penalties? Dish one out. Hey, good to say hello. I'm glad you're all saying hello. It warms my heart when the gang are all there saying hi. I think it's important that we all say hello now and again. And we have Misford in our sights. We're on the outside. Clear on the right. We're all behind us. Someone couldn't quite hack it. That was effect, I think. No, Juan? No, Vince? I'm not sure, actually. Just practicing camera control. Nice one, buddy. Hope it's going well for you. I hope this practice is helpful. I think you're all doing it on Saturday, aren't you? You're all doing a bit of stewarding on Saturday, maybe? I don't know. I haven't seen it officially whether that's happening. Oh, dear. Must have been out of that one. So far ahead. Well, that was smooth, wasn't it? This car's a joke. Right, let's go. Messed that one up, haven't we? Forgot about the old first gear. Don't use first gear in this car, you muppet. Oh, hello, Ian. Good to see you, sir. I can, and I will, Cynic. It's my server, and I can park wherever I want. One of the joys. Car on the right. 
I'll tell you what, that was a scary one. Clear on the right. Smooth as conch. That was smooth, Dave. Come on. Where's the love when it goes well, eh, gang? I just breezed past him there in the breaking zone. And what do I get? What love do I get? Hmm. Yeah. Never go to first. Yeah, I know, Sid. I know, I know. Well, I do now anyway. Right, we've got to catch Weber and Riesbergen. Ramonti is still P1. Go on, Rarish. Oh, Kaz has got a drive through. Wow. Oh, look, there's Rarish in the chat. Jeez. Yeah, all right, Rarish. We know. We're all very proud of you, mate. You keep it up, yeah? 15 minutes to go. The last thing we'd want you to do is bin it. Oh, my God. This is amateur hour. Sorry, guys. Absolutely amateur hour here. You say hello. I say go goodbye. Didn't it? You say goodbye, I say hello. Oh, I don't know. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Copy, right. Oh, there's first gear. I see it, Sydney. Oh, the car behind put it in first gear. There's no denying it. He likes to peek up the drive. He does, doesn't he? I was talking about T1, Jeff. I know, I know. I know. I know. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's do this, team. Only five minutes in. It feels like an hour. These cars are hard. Very hard. Slow car ahead. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out. No warning. Didn't even see an off track for that. Weird. Rarish still P1, only a second though. Rarish puts one foot wrong and it is all over for him. No pressure, Rarish. Well done, mate. Russell, fastest lap. 51.5. Let's see if we can get in the low 50. Evening, do get you doing, buddy. Thank you, well. Do you ever fancy joining us on track, dog? Do you do any racing? I have no idea. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Be careful there. Juan? Oh, dear, Juan. I am good. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, buddy. I can't complain. Health is wealth and... I've got most of it, although my Porsche is a bit unhappy without TC. I have a lead foot. Ah, oh, beardy. Purple lap. All right, Rarish. Oh, point two. Bro, are you sure you got the purple lap? Rude Boy's point two behind you. Oh, a little bit of argy barge there from Misford and Weber. Mill victims. That one was Bolt. Oh no, Bolt. He's one of the Pro Series. Meanwhile, we've got a massive run on your Misford. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I always maintain if we made this the first race of the evening on Community Night. The GT3 races after that would be the cleanest 
best racing you will ever see because this definitely sets you up the problem is obviously everyone wants to do their slightly longer practice for their gt3 cars and i get that Car oh we're right. on the outside here clear on the right oh i saw him twitch a bit on the right and i was yeah nervous we're now around the outside of curva grande in the porsche cup at monza oh he's getting close the car is a handful i haven't got the yeah i haven't got the speed here car on the right clear on the right ah the shame couldn't quite hack it never mind couldn't oh, slow it down in time hello right. freddy how you doing buddy how did your races go tonight i'm doing my first lfm Nordsch life sprint tomorrow night at 8 p.m nine your time I know, we're currently in a Porsche Cup race, Freddy. Uh, also, Freddy, if you're interested, Saturday night, 90-minute Nordschleife race, one pit stop for the community. We're hoping to have about 60 on the grid because it does seem very popular, the Nordschleife at the moment, of course. Yeah, it's a slow car ahead. Oh, this car's horrible. Watch out for your shoulder, Flint. Ah, no pace. Okay, fair enough. But the thing is, Freddy, your Watkins ELO, well, your ELO, should I say, is super high. I know your Watkins pace is very high. And it is hard matching that on other tracks. Oh, no. And that's Van Riesberg, and he's gone. But if you want a real challenge, Freddy, get in these Porsche Cups. Uh, Cynic, no. Brace yourself for the races, it's bad. Uh, look, I've seen the streams. It, it looks a bit, yeah, I know. I think I'll try and work it out. Oh, do you know what? I've just been... Ignore that, Cynic. You ignore that, all right? I don't want any trouble. Okay, he just spun. The guy's racing against Mr. just spun, I think. So let's leave that there, then. I got swallowed on split one. Yeah, of course, man. Split one's ridiculous, Freddy. Come on, man. That pace is scary. It's like my pace in the Porsche Cup at Monza. No, seriously. No, Cynic. Don't welcome anyone to your dark side, alright? Bad influence. Never enough about you, Freddy. How's the moustache? How's the beard game? How's work? You got any more travel coming up, Freddy? What does anyone want to ask Freddy? If you could ask Freddy any question, what would it be? This car is horrible. <laughs> it is so hard to drive it right. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to drive this car right. Oh, did anyone see the teaser today, by the way? Little teaser on... Yeah, there you go. There's a question for you, Freddy. Um, a little teaser on Twitter from a driver. I can't remember who else or what it was, but um, someone driving a set of Corsa Evolution and rain on the windscreen. I forget there's no rain in a set of Corsa. So. So that's going to... Oh, boy. You can't accelerate much. Oh, I missed that one. Um, so, yeah. A set of course evolution. A little bit of rain. Better graphics. A couple of open world settings. I tell you, it might be very, 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 very popular in the end. Even if there's not a lot of content. And I think people are going to complain about content a lot if I didn't know better at release. Because they're so used to a, a set of Corsa and all the mods. I think there's going to be very limited content. And I think it'll be a lovely driving experience and look great. And who knows, if they do that, that might just be enough to shut people up. It'd be nice if they could nail the racing, but I'm not sure about that. I mean, because you've got ACC for the racing, haven't you? That's the thing. So how racy do they really want to make it? Or do they want to make it just road car? Hey, Dave, how you doing, buddy? Shame you're not here smashing it tonight. 
Exactly, Freddy. You've done the practice there, right? That's all it really amounts to, doesn't it? Obviously, you can do the right practice, but a track that you love and do a lot of laps on. Oh, my driving in this race has been awful. We are P6. We can't be too unhappy. I've spun out a few times and we are P6. Rarish is... <gasps> no wonder he's gone quiet, guys. Rarish is no longer P1. Really sad story there. He's currently three tenths off the leader. David says, finally a new PC. Oh, nice one, buddy. What's the specs? What specifications? What's the graphics card? What's the CPU? How much RAM? What speed is it? How many fans in your case? Community races? Um, good question. Fair enough, Motorhead. So, for the community rate... Don't use first gear, Jeff. Come on. We've been through this. Oh, Ian! Oh, no! Behind! <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, I'll tell you what. The rebound on the suspension is a thing, isn't it? Ian and Bolt behind me just had a big whoopsie. That was quite funny. 32 gig of... 600,000 megahertz! Oh, Ryzen 7, 7700. And where's the GPU? Come on. What's the PS2 resistance? Oh, this car. Oh, I'm driving it so badly. And an RTX 3080. Wow. Nice work, sir. That is a lovely setup. Lovely setup you got there. Is there a big upgrade from your previous setup? And also, what screen you got? That's quite important, isn't it, really? My five lap pace is 47.7. Whoa! Hello, Bolt. Nearly took you out there. Sorry. All right, I need to be more clever on the throttle. I've been lead footing it all race like a muppet. But we've got a bit of a race now. Whoa, 1440p, 165 hertz ultra wide. You've got the setup, my friend. You're a lucky guy. Very, very lucky. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you don't overuse it, if that makes any sense. You can have too much of a good thing. Don't burn out. But what a setup you've got when you are using it. Wow. And as we go on the inside of Bolt there, Last bit of Porsche Cup fun. Let's give Ian a flash. Hello, Ian. Ian's one of the bosses. We've got a TSC boss in front of us, everyone. Massive support of the community. Oh, yeah, a million percent, David. A million percent. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh, Bolt with the left. lunge. Clear on the left. We're three wide. Car on the left. He's going to take the bump. That's going to slow him down. Uh oh, I'm going to get boxed in here. Or can we swing around the outside? 30-50? I can't remember they did a 30-50. And we got past Bolt in the Porsche Cup. Before you had, yeah, 16 gig at 32 in the Ryzen 5. Yeah, useful stuff. P1? Oh, go on, buddy. Love your work. Sorry. Sorry, Motorhead. I got distracted. You'll find us a common theme. The community drop-ins are just drop-ins. We've got a password on it now, and that's it. We do have a community series coming up, which is full. Oh, David. Sorry, you'll have to excuse your language there, buddy. Do you want to delete your comment? Do you want to delete your comment? We try not to swear here, because... I've got a young family who tune in. And my family get annoyed with me. So. Uh, yeah, no, we just drop in, mate. Uh, we have got a community series coming up, but it is fully subscribed. That's okay, David. You didn't know. There should be a message from Stream Elements telling people not to swear, but it's not coming up. It's really annoying. Hey, look, the 3050 will get you 1080p and it will get you on the road, right? It will get you on the road 1080p at 60 frames. 60 frames, 1080p, 3050. Oh no, thank you. Got there before me, Sid. There we go. Oh yeah, there you go. 
and I am speed. Uh, I think at the, there's one thing I say, David, about technology is there are definitely diminishing returns. So you can spend a lot of money and you won't, you'll get, a, no, you can spend a bit of money and get, you know, a decent rig. And you can spend a bit more and get a lot more power. And then eventually you'll start spending more and more and you're getting like 10 frames extra and you just spent another thousand pounds or euros. And it's like, oh, no, I've got another 20 frames. It's like, yeah, you kind of need a bit more than that, really, I think, to make it interesting. So, yeah, I'm waiting for my next leap. I've got a 2080 Ti. My CPU's lovely. It's a 5800X3D. I think it's brilliant. Uh, and my RAM isn't bad. It's 32 gig at 3600. But it could be worse. So, Rarish is on the final lap because he's a leader, unless he's changed hands again. Let's have a look. He's still the leader. Oh, Schumacher on a drive through. That's going to put us P5. Incredible. What can I say? There you go, Motorhead. You're doing fine. Also, it does obviously depend on the graphic settings you choose, the resolution, and so on and so forth. Um, I've helped a few people out of a few settings that make their ACC experience a lot smoother. Mine tends to be sat at 144 FPS. Uh, I don't really like it to go below 100 even in the night in the wet with 20 cars in front of me because those are the important moments where you need the immersion and as soon as the frame dip for me it kills on the, right. the immersion Clear on the right. and there's Schumacher behind us P5 I know Dave not bad not bad in the Porsche Cup 1440p at high settings, yeah, nice mo Ed. Things like foliage, turn the foliage down, man. You don't need super high quality trees. And as you can see, there's a lot of trees here. So you turn that, or the view distance. If you turn the view, view distance down from epic to high, you'll probably get about 20, 30 frames, I found. And then the biggest one for me is FSR. FSR, I think, works quite well. I'm using FSR, and I think the image quality is still great. So I'd recommend FSR to anyone over DLSS. My personal experience. I found DLSS blurry, I think. <laughs> nice one, Cynic. Schumacher wants a position back. He's not getting it. Oh, Tanisov got wiped out. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds. You're not getting this. Car on the right. Clear on the no! Right. No, how did you cheat like that, Schumacher? You're good, I'll give you that much. No, you cheat! Ah! Right. He didn't cheat, he just beat me. Ah, I hate you! Ah, there we go. There we go, let's get... <laughs> See ya. Hey, that's what you get for... Oh, wow. NT with a big swinger. P1, Rarish. Well done, sir. Hello, Yaki. A little bit late. Although, to be fair, I might do a lap or two of the Norge life. Congratulations, Rarish. Well done, mate. Purvel said he gave room when you turned in, Atanasov. Four broken headlights. Uh, Mancunian. Uh, fun fact, other people can't see it. Shulmaha. That was incredible at the last turn, buddy. He did well there. I should have done better out of Ascari. I was a bit sloppy. Yeah, GG's. We know, we know how hard racing in a Porsche Cup is. It took me a while to get into that. A bit slow there at the start. But, hey, P5, and there's 25 on here. Oh, there's something, all right. There were 28. All right. Cheers, everyone. Back Saturday for... 90 Mins Nords. Join Discord for info. There we go. Right, I'm out of that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so. We are spun, fun. Oh, I saw you facing the wrong way, Juan. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I need to do some Nordschleife laps. Are you up for this? Oh, 
Okay, let's go. Oh, there's only four minutes left. What number did you get on track tonight? A lot lower, Yaki, you know, funnily enough. Uh, Monza, we got 46, which is obviously incredible. But it was a lot less than we got at Nords, of course. Everyone was at Nords. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling, Juan. Um, the Porsche Cup race, I did open server. We filled it, 28. There's, there's the rain race. Well, there's no rain. And we got, was it 36? It's not bad. Um, I'm not in the cup, am I? No, no, hold on. Am I in the cup? That'd be hilarious. No, I'm in the 992, surely. Yeah, 992. Don't do that to me, small town. By the way, I almost collected you from P1 when the back markers bummed me. All right, cool. Right, I do not have a setup here for the Porsche at North. Let's just do aggressive. I should probably do the safe setup, to be honest. Yeah, let's do brakes too. I'm not feeling brave. Forty-six, yeah, not bad at all. I think Monza's not that popular at the moment, Yaki. I think people are a bit like, uh, Monza. And everyone wants to do Nords. Let's see what we get for the Nords race. Right. Let's go and do some laps, shall we? Well, let's wait for everyone to go out first. Let's wait for everyone to go round. Go round once. One second, guys. So yeah, thanks to everyone who's joined us tonight on the server. To finish off the stream, hello Ian. Thank you mate, I hope you enjoyed the racing. Uh, I joined a random server yesterday and it was on Kyle Army if you can believe it. Never saw that before, maybe because of LFM? Probably. I want to get in Nords Friday morning, need to learn. Yes, you do, Yaki. Jeff, community races that shadow the GT3 or F1 calendar events become popular. Uh, yeah, so what I do, um, Motorhead, is we normally practice like the next week of LFM tracks together. So that's how we do it here at the Sim Cafe. Uh, there will be a lot of community racing coming up soon in our own uh, league called the First Dance. You can see we've got Motorhead. Some lovely, I'm going to get this wrong here. Some lovely trophies. Look at these bad boys. Look at that. I've got one more on the way. Hey. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Also, these are unreal. These are unreal. Anyway, yeah, I think so, Motorhead. So we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Cheers, GTR. It was Schumacher. Yannick, I was gutted that you beat me. I was gutted that you beat me on the last turn. I didn't realise. I thought you were a lapped car. I forgot that all you did was a little drive through and you were miles ahead of me. So you came out right behind me in that lap. And I messed up Ascari and you, yeah, you were brilliant around the last turn. What did I miss, Jeff? Um, not a lot, Bolt. Um, what? These bad boys, have you seen them? The trophies, there's one more coming because we've got three classes now in our um, TSC Cup, the first dance. That's what we're calling it, the first dance. 
Um, if you haven't already, join the Discord. Right now, maybe you want to join me on track. I am at the Norch Life License Server 2, Track Permit 2. There you can see at the top of the screen, Track Permit 2. So I need to do two clean laps here. There's a lot of cars. How do I find a gap? Nice one, Bolt. Is there another race? No GTR, sorry. Oh, Bolt, I saw you wipe out. Am I in the Porsche? I'm not in the Porsche car. Bolt, I saw you wipe out um, behind me. Uh, Ian, that was quite funny. And me. Stig trophies? Yes, indeed. Under 838, Yaki. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Cynic. Hopefully we don't get too many server skips at the wrong time. That wouldn't be nice. Oh, boy. Lots of people joining the server there, it seems. Hey, you guys. LFM server too, yep. Oh, I feel so weird driving a GT3 car again after driving the Porsche Cup. The scared to... See what I mean? We would be so much better drivers if we had the Porsche Cup as our first race in the community each week. Uh, no, Flint. He didn't sign up for it. Unfortunately, he can't make it. He's uh, He's got his band. They still love him. I tried convincing him, but... No. Yeah, no Watch out in front. Oh, cheers, Jackie. Enjoy your stream in the morning, if you are. I'll try to catch that. There's cars coming around as well. Nice one, Yaki. Sent you a setup. Oh, cheers, Ossie. Is it much, much better than the aggressive? Should I just pull over now? Yeah, okay. There's no point in debating it, is there? You wouldn't have sent it otherwise. Clicked on my SR73 top out tomorrow. Yeah, that's the one, GTR. Uh, just follow someone closely behind in an online race. It's a lot of fun. Right. Let's get the setup out. Thank you very much. Let's give it a bash. Uh, let's save a setup. So I've got a file. Own the Nords. Good idea. High revs, no fear in the Porsche. Ooh. Crazy guy. Thank you. There we go. What noise is going here? Downloads. Cut. Wonderful. Incredible. Thank you very much. I've no idea what the pressures are. So I'm going to add two clicks. I did send you mine. Was that for the Porsche Cup or for the Porsche? Uh, Brands Hatch, back of grid, 40 strong, 20 minute race, all done back to SR980. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's go. Right. I just assumed it's Porsche Cup Soifling. I am Casey, you want to join me? Do you want to join me? Do you fancy joining me? Do you want to join me? Yes, okay. I am on, Casey, track permit two. And he's calling me again. Let's get on that one. Hello, American. Hello. 
Hello, Wolf. Working it out, working it out. Hello. Hello. I will, uh... Oh, I still have ACC open. Look at that. <laughs> Just burning away. Hey. Electricity is pretty cheap over there, I guess. For sure. <laughs> you have, uh, central, central heating and your house isn't insulated. <laughs> central heating and carpets everywhere. That's how we roll. Loading up. Now. Are you bothering with the stream or are you clear? Uh, no, no stream. Cool. Yeah, because you killed it, didn't you? So, yeah. Cool, right. Yeah. Guys, you can probably hear we have Casey in the chat, and Casey is going to jump on track permit two. Is the Porsche your number one car? Um, well, Motorhead, it, it is. It is, but I fear that. I, I've, a lot of people try and warn me off it, and I wonder if I'm just causing myself trouble sometimes. But I do love it. I really do love it. Um, and it's probably the most fun car in the game, so why not? I'm not bored of it yet. I normally get bored of a car. I'm not bored of this one yet. All right. Have you done anything with tires or anything, really? I've put on someone's setup. Someone sent me a setup. So I've done okay. that. Yeah. All right. Then I'm just going to I'm just gonna roll pretty safe, and yeah. I think I'll be good. Yeah, let's do it. All right, do you want to follow? Uh, do you want to lead? I'll follow. TC six, uh, just about. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Earlier, I just did that when I was practicing. I literally just did the safe setup. Maybe I should just stick with that. Yeah, why not? Uh, It'll I'm be easier on the bumps that. and stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, we've got Schumacher here. Yannick, Yannick's here. Anyone else? Bolt is here. Yannick, Bolt, Vince. Oh, I love it. We've got, we got five of us on the server already. Alright. I don't think anymore. Right, no, I'm be, leaving, the, leaving the pits now. Okay, let me click drive. Alright, let's go. It's so I weird driving a normal car again after the cup. It is. It, it was weird doing a couple laps, and there's so many spots you can just fly through. Yeah. So I think you'll find me braking in spots I shouldn't, and... Has so much grip. So much downforce, I mean. Yep. Ooh. Well, see, I've got traction control on one. Thanks for the setup, Sai. <laughs> you see, got me dead. <laughs> I just haven't met my howitzer foot. Slow car ahead. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out. There's a slow car ahead. Also, it's hard getting used to, like, you can't touch curbs at all with the Ferrari, like yep. you could with the GT4. Yeah, GT4 would float nicely. It's right, like one going... or two I found I could run over. Yeah, we can go right out to the chicane, start a time lap. Yep, yep. Run side by side with two cars coming out of the pit. Oh god! Yellow flag ahead. Be careful. I was like, no. <laughs> That's how you start a nose life hot lap. We're down. We're down about a second. Let's get on. <laughs> oh, at least, yeah, at least. Yeah, and the thing know. though, it's so, it's so sort of wasteful with time on the track, and it? it's like, oh, that was three seconds, but we'll be all right. We'll make it up somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Cheers, too kind. Ah. 
You do not like your GP exits, do you? No, no, I'm right. terrible on this track. Okay, I think we can have a little bit of time on them together. Just a minute or two. And I'll uh, make you a lot faster than the GP track. Obviously, the, the Nürburgring itself is a bit of a classic on ACC and otherwise. Did you invalidate? Uh, it hasn't said it yet. It had no, to be okay, close. Cool. No, it's fine. It had red. to be real close. If you're not red, we're good. Let's focus, Con. Get it done in one. Oh, my. You took the inside for both of those turns on each lap. Now the good news is we only need an average, so if you do a 45, we just need to do a 20 in the next one. Right, oh yeah. <laughs> oh! Did I do that to you? Are you good? I mean, I don't want to say it's you, it's probably me, to be fair. Okay, I'm going to restart with you, I'm going to restart with you. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> yeah, I, I just, because you're right in front, I should have given you a bit of space, that's all, because you're right in right, front of me. Right, I felt like I, I was on your, on your line there, yeah. Well, no, not that, it's just you're right in front of me, so I just didn't see the line properly. So that's my bad, I should have given right. you a bit more space. We'll, we'll space I did, out. I did fly, Vince, I did fly, that's correct, thank you. <laughs> mm. Casey, check out my stream. Uh, I don't even have it open, hold on. Well, well you know, not the best for you, are you? Look, get no, it open. No, no. We'll I see if you can do you have this brand in America? Uh, yeah, it's called Bomb My Man. I was like, where's my Google? It was my, my pop out chat was still open. Uh, opening now. I feel like I've seen that. Bomb My Man? Yeah, like I see it. Stuff, I'm huh? looking at it. Right. These petty um, cookies. Oh, my days. They're only they're small, see, petty, you know, they're only small. Bro, all I can taste is butter and chocolate. Oh. Unreal. The French love butter. They go nuts for it. They just put too much in everything. It's wonderful. Oh, these little things. And they're like glazed. The top of it's kind of glazed almost. It's a slight glazing on top. Oh, man, it's ridiculous. The flavor. Are they soft or are they, cr are they crunchy? Oh, they're, they're, they're crumbly. They're crunchy. They're not soft. Okay. Are you I do a like, fan of soft bake? I do like soft bake, but sometimes it gets a bit too sickly, right? Because it's just a mush. A sugary mush. So, I do like soft bake. I do like that, especially now a bit warm, right? A little bit warm, wonderful. But yeah, gets a bit much. Right. Um, Flint wants me to go to the pit stop strategy, so I get a new set of tyres. There we go. Let's we go out. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. Let's go. So guys, we're currently fighting for our Nordschleife license. We've almost made it two turns on the track. <laughs> two turns, not two laps. Two turns. Two turns on our 140. And I believe we've got Vince with us. There you go, Vince in a BMW. Vince, don't kill us. Vince, do yourself a favor. Leave a lot of room or you'll probably crash into me or the wall. Trust me, it's not easy to follow close around here at high speeds. That's for sure. Oh, man. Wow, that was a weird sneeze. And Dave Realstone, come fly with me. Hey, Dave, I didn't crash into you today. <laughs> this is uh, the level of the art community descended to. I didn't crash into you today. That's to be celebrated. Hey. What have, we, what have we become, team? Wait, I don't have the permit. No, I don't, Sydney. I do not. Vince testing out his lights. Yes, they work. Vince looked like a Christmas tree, buddy. Well done. Oh, good point. Well made. Sorry, Motorhead. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm new to all this. I was on the wrong scene, Casey. Can you imagine? Uh, I do that very frequently. <laughs> I they're don't... just watching yeah. me talk and there's no <laughs> game playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you do no sound or face, everything. Yeah, yours are wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I, when I do it, it's like it's almost like an embarrassing moment. If I were to really care <laughs> about being embarrassed. <laughs> Change the window, says Flint. Too late, Flint. Motorhead, he's my new favourite viewer. I've got favourites here. Do you have a favourite viewer, Casey? Who's yours? Um, oh boy. Put Come on, on who's your favourite viewer? Who's your favourite viewer? Spot. Let's go like round to the right. I like my right, 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 right. 
You know, you were asking me questions. <laughs> I started God, shouting it because I realized. Have we got to go dang back? It. Are we going to the pits? Yeah, yeah I got to go back. I'm damn it. <laughs> God dang it, dude. I knew that was coming. I was feeling it too. I was feeling it. Because the thing like, is, okay. I'll be honest, Casey, your line up to those turns is interesting because the first lap you went on the right and turned right. The second lap you went on the left and turned left. So there, you kind of went in the middle. I was like, I don't know where he's going. It could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, you're it talking about my, my approach to yeah. which turn I'm at. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was. I'm going out. I'm going out. Oh, really? Let me come with you. Vince, come yeah, join yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you joker. Oh, we already okay. made it out of the GP, but it's all Hey, it's a process. This is why we're doing it together, to slow each other down. It's going very well, thank you, David. Oh, there he is. Hey, Affy, subscribe. Cheers. Does that affect GT, but just part of your name? Who knows? I changed in my answer. I like Strange Love. Matt Beard's out. Ah, Strange Love is your favorite viewer. Nice. Love it. Favorite viewer. I like his humor. By the way, I nearly ran into this. His voice is soothing in our. Strange, uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Look at your half mask. Soothing tone. Take three, says Motorhead. We got this. Quality streamers here. Have you got Bolt made a roadblock? Naughty Bolt. Yes, yeah. See, Bolt, if you just let him through, you'd have been his favourite viewer. Do you reckon we should have, like, viewer of the month? Juan is my favorite TSC. Oh, no, guys, did you hear that? David, yeah. Vince, Dan, the steward. Yeah. Guys, steward, did you hear that? He picked Juan. I mean, Juan's American, so I feel like that's a bit of an obvious choice. But here we are. They stick Honestly, to their own over there. Juan was American. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 totally. I got a sneaky hello in there, I think. Yeah, go on, baby. Here's my win. There's no Les here to distract me. Bolt, speed up, Bolt, come on. Uh, we're going right at the top, by the way, Casey. How do you feel? So I need to be over to the left. You <laughs> right? Can you imagine? Hello, Kaz. Good to see you, mate. Did you spin out in the Porsche Cup race at the end? What happened, Kaz? I couldn't work it out. How did the Porsche go? Oh, I was awful for the most part. Uh, eventually, at the end, I kind of got my way with all and stopped spinning around. I got a P5, to be fair, but yeah, okay. it wasn't easy. <laughs> wasn't so easy, sure man. Everybody looked a little floaty, huh? Yeah, basically. Hey, Stedman, good to see you. Good to see you, bro. And David said he is unsubscribed from Casey's channel. Love your work, David. <laughs> Long may that continue, guys. Let's see you get wrote Casey road to 2K. What's up, Casey? Says Stedman. He's not even streaming. You see how lazy he's got, Dublin. You have to talk to him through my Incredibly channel now. Lazy. Incredibly lazy. You have to talk to him through my channel now. That's how bad it's got. I exclusively take photos of cars now. <laughs> yeah. That's my entire, hey, it's entire shtick. Good. Hello, Mank. Mork. <laughs> Mork. <laughs> I'm just here to save your pronunciation, aren't I? I love how close we are. This is going to be really exciting with the Nords. Yeah, we're going to all die. <laughs> no I, have, I have no faith. <laughs> we ruined about a second, yeah. On the second lap, I missed the braking mark and flew past turn one. You got a drive through. Oh, okay. Right, let's see which way we can go here. You go right. Hey, you see? We've got this. We've got this, gang. No more messing up. TC up a notch. What a long ride this is going to be. <laughs> be serious. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I'm feeling so sketchy in this setup. Who gave me this? This is torture. <laughs> I should have gone for the safe. I feel like I'm getting a million miles an hour. You're used to GT4 life. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what it is. I haven't done a thing. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all, uh, everything's fine. Right? Everything's fine. This is perfectly normal, I think. No, this setup is wild, man. I'm on a buckaroo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my shoulders are already hurting. It's like turn four. Jeez.
This car could not be any sketchier in the high speed stuff. It's wonderful. Just skipping about. Oh man, Bolt, I really cut off the bolt there. <laughs> Jeez, it is an absolute ride in the fast stuff, I'll be honest. It's just going everywhere. See if you're a horrible person. I can't do it. You're a lot better than me. You know this. You're very mean for giving me this out. You just wanted to see me suffer, didn't you? I see you. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Me and dodge that one. Always dodge that curb, bro. It doesn't kill you, it I just like ruins the exit. I like the hit yeah, it. I know. It doesn't kill you, it just ruins the exit. Scary left, Jeff. Scary yeah, left. I love it, I love it. Full speed. Oh, that curb's not fun either. We got this team. What? Nah, oh, no. nah, this this car, it's no man. Honestly, I'll see. I can't, bro. It's no. I've got no. I've got no control, man. I'm nowhere near your level. Let me put it on the safe and see what happens. Uh, Casey, continue laps, bro. We'll keep chatting. Yep, yep, yep. Because we'll just never get there. I'm digging Bolt's pace and uh, yep. some of the lines he's showing me. So. Evil person, I see. Oh. Hmm, four, four, four. Four, four, four. What's four, four, four? Oh, oh, Bolt. Nice save, Bolt. Keep it going. <laughs> Still alive. Just don't lift full send. You've got this. What kind of advice is this? M4. Right, there we go. Threes from Realstone. Jeff set up practice lap this week. Well hit the Nords. I can do an 826. Hell Cup. Pop. Hey. That's a lot of words there in one sentence. We've gone safe, guys. We are pootling around now. We're doing a safe 825. It'll probably be an 830. Bolt just snapped a wall, but I can't be certain. Aww. Bye, Bolt. Oh, he's all over. He's all over. <laughs> he's too oh, fast. He's funny. Oh, look at this buttery, soft and safe car. Love it. No, he really does, because that setup was not for me. I will do, Flint. I think so, Stedman. I have not got his skills. I'm saying that, this is an understeery mess. There we go, took off TC2. Break Ducks 3, says GTR. Probably, bro, I don't know what they are at the moment. Well, they're a bit cold. I'll be fine, I just need to cruise about. How far have you got, Case? Um, we are coming up on the jump. Nice. YouTube corner right now, that's where we're headed around. Nice. Everybody's making nice pace, all three of us. Uh, Bolt has done some questionable, questionable things. <laughs> Not but first I've heard you say alive. that. Oh, he just let me by. He might have invalidated. Oh, and he crashed Vince. Oh. Vince. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm alone. Go on, Case. You can do it.
I know, Vince. Sorry, bro. I think he meant it as well. Yeah, clearly everyone wants to see me fly. Cheers, OC. Uh, on a shorter track, I might find your setup more durable, but that was super sketch. And I would not last two minutes on the Nords with that. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, here's Bolt to gloat about his victory. I might have to pick up the pace on lap two. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, we'll see. Get close to the end here. I'm right, validating on GP. Whoa, Let's go back. Look at it. Go on. Hello. No, that's cool. I just invalidated by accident, come round again, and look what we got here. Isn't that something? Over there, Ooh, son. Don't invalidate, don't invalidate, okay. Just about as slow as we were in the first lap. <laughs> what was go. your lap? Uh, one, uh, 835. 835. Oh, cool. Let's go again. Now I have the pretty green numbers in my top left. Oh, no. To so, stare at the whole time. Yes, it is, David. 8.38 for two clean laps. The grass, the goddamn grass, says Bolt. Yo, Too late, Bolt. Like, yo, Hearts have been broken. Man. Bolt spends a lot of time in the grass. <laughs> yeah. Slow car ahead. Hey, them rabbits. Yeah, I bet you did an 8.14 with that, mate. And then I bet you crashed every other lap. Come on. Give me a chance. Do me a favor. You need to make that a bit softer for me, bro. That was way too exciting. Okay, coming through on the inside. Yep. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. That was close. Yeah, what? Well, that was like... I lost my two seconds, but that's okay. I'm still on my average. You're okay. Follow me. Yep, yep. Gen 2 on the curves. Just avoid them. Slow down if you have to. One of them will kill you. One of the guys behind me? Yeah, probably. Curve always gets me. I never avoid it. <laughs> All silence here, Sydney and Nords. I need to get these laps done. It's getting late.
This place at night in the rain was an absolute nightmare. Is Schumacher one of yours? Yeah, well, one of ours, I think, funny enough, but yeah. It's obviously not yours, it must be mine then. Hello, Schumacher. I think he might have found us in the Porsche Cup. Ah, uh, he's taking my inside on the fast roof. <laughs> he's going to come up and scare me, probably. Vince, don't hit me, buddy, if you can avoid it. That'd be wunderbar. Vince, if you pump me on this lap, I'll literally kick you from the Discord, bro. Is that Vince or Sh that's Schumacher? No, Vince behind me. Oh, it's overall, actually. So that's Schumacher. Schumacher, Yannick. There you go, you buddy. You're probably tuned in. Yeah, just keep a bit of space, please, bro. There's, uh, that was about as close as it gets. I thought it was a different kind of BMW. A good time right now, so. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was a different kind of BMW, but I had my overall on that said Vince. I was like, oh, okay. I know you like to get involved in the stream, but lucky it's not you, Vince, this time. Oh, someone in the server chat says uh, F. There's my little motorbike in turn. Poor Vince, I know. Maybe I should just kick him from the Discord anyway, that'll teach him. Yeah, show him. <laughs> right? I'll show you the boss around here, guys. Could be you next. Maybe I just don't like the cut of your jib. where we came out together on this lap. <laughs> that was awesome. Love it. Right, you've done your lap then, sir. This will be it if I can make it up this the hill. I think you'll be fine. Use my slipstream. Come on, buddy. Use that slipstream. Come on. Vince is now behind you. <laughs> Ironically. Off you go. Fly like an eagle. How's your Delta? Uh, 837. Uh, it's, I'm a second and a half down. Cool. Pull it over on the right. Oh, I did an 838. Let's go. That was slow. Yeah, I got. I would have had my same speed. It, uh, Schumacher took that inside from me on the straight, and I had to pretty much slow down. Wow, uh, I've got... Yeah. I've got a like, very safe setup and barely break. All right. Okay, let's go. Cheers, David. G. 
Is that my new cool name? Jeff. There you go. My name is Jeff. Yeah, this next lap will be a bit quicker, I think, Flint. Why did you hear your name ten times? I was threatening to ban you forever, Vince. You dodged a bullet there, buddy. I had my overall on and I thought you were behind me. It was actually Schumacher, who's still there, bless him. And is keen to stay fairly close, which is lovely. Uh, if he does bump me on this second lap, you might just about hear me swear. says after this lap do your fastest <laughs> messed up legs that's a shame yeah got a little bit of spin with the curb there whoa says vince yeah vince you're lucky mistaken identity can be lethal you'll have to give us a little bit of breathing room on the uh on when we can lift and when we can't we just came out of 24 on a gt4 <laughs> but that's uh, we'll Schumacher, yeah the uh vince was saying that that overhill back there before the sand trap or whatever you can you can just lift there yeah people with skill can or right. experience yeah people on stream trying to get licensed different very different Don't do that, Jeff. That'd be quite depressing. Very nice. That could have gone a bit ugly. Uh, Sydney says safe lap, nothing crazy. Yeah, good. Just a good solid pace. You'll have it easy. Um, where is info on track for PW? Can't see it. LFM. That's what Monk says. Monk. <laughs> not, not sure. Monk. Um, is it? Well, I don't know. What's either, PW? To be What's PW? Uh, well, that's not even password, so I'm not sure. Permit. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the password or what? Sorry. I went LFM for password. Yeah, yeah. Standard. Yeah. Not my best driving. Ooh, oh, ooh. behind me. She might get a bit slops. Say hello. I won that one. Look at that. In the middle of a test lap. Too easy. Password, yeah. yeah. Uh, LFM, bro. Lowercase. Make sure you ain't got your caps lock on. Ray. Maybe you're. Hello, 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 everyone. Good to see you all. I love it when you all say hello to me. Let's me know you're still alive. All right, too much curb. Launching into the carousel with considerable, considerable more, uh, much more speed than you do in the GT4s. Yes. Honestly, a little definitely. bit of a scary ride. You know? <laughs> nice and scary.
Uh, millimeters. Yeah, I was like, I was questioning it. <laughs> yeah. We've not gone invalid, I can tell you that much, but that's all I can tell you. All right. Oh, I remember trying to do this with the broken car, it was horrible. <laughs> the high speed turns and jumps and the thing that was Especially this guy right here. This guy is a little unsettling right here, this downhill sweep. Your car can get airborne and the GT3 yeah. is almost right there. What do you mind in real life how that feels when they're flying along? Oh. The change in weight every a lap. sideways weight change and with that little of grip, it's got to be insane. You must feel like, I don't know where I am, I hope I'm still alive. Here we are. Yeah. Hey, a bit wobbly. Well, thanks for keeping me company, Schumacher. Hope it's not too slow for you. Well, I think you might have invalidated anyway, to be honest, but... <laughs> Don't oh. you. There you go, nice. Very nice. Nice one. We should be okay, let's not... Yep, one bit left. Yeah, let's you're not good on time. Yeah. Give me a give me a slipstream, Schumacher. Get ahead of me. Get ahead of me, buddy. Now give me a well, slipstream. It took the Ferrari forever to catch up. That thing's fast. Yeah, on the straight line. Let's get the suck. Just don't. Yeah, make sure you can see the turn. Look at this. There's an extra few k. Wow, we've got the 72 to 80. Oh, this is gonna Watch go horribly wrong. This is gonna go horribly wrong. Oh, we don't know what we're doing anymore. My car just <laughs> bombed out over that bump as well. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. And I've got meanwhile Schumacher flying Very around in front. Very nice. There we go. And there we go. That is our LFM license. Just about jamming it with two very slow laps. We won't talk about that. Right, come on, Jeff. One more bit faster. I would love to say yes, but it is 11 p.m. at night. My teammate had just flown into a wall in massive disaster. Uh, and I'm on a safe setup, which is quite heavy. So I'm probably going to go that fast in this thing, in reality. Uh, that was fun. Thank you very much for joining in, guys. Thank you. We now should have, nothing's guaranteed in life, but we should have a, an LFM license on the Nord Life now. In a two laps average under 38.4 or something. Uh, I should have an average of about 37, nice and tight. Uh, but that's how we do it here at the Sim Cafe. Uh, Casey, thank you very much for your company this evening. You've been wonderful, sir. Appreciate mm -hmm. your time and energy. You're welcome anytime here at the Sim Cafe, as I'm sure you know. Uh, and of course, we're doing Saturday night, so if you can win some more tokens of appreciation from your partner and see if you can use them on Saturday, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I have my laps are in. Oh, yeah. It says target, so status not valid. Target is 8.38.4. It says I have two laps, but it doesn't tell me what my average time was on those laps. Interesting. It just says target. Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for the end of the server. It's normally the server to clear, doesn't it, I think? I'm not sure. That's what I thought. Yeah. Don't hold me to that. Right. Um, okay, yeah, so thank you very much, Casey. Casey, you just say goodbye to everyone at the Sim Cafe? Goodbye, everybody at the Sim Cafe. Those road to race are crazies that are still watching Jeff's after a long day. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you cool. guys hopefully Saturday. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Are you streaming any more this week? Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow and Friday. Nice. Any idea what you're doing yet? Never have plans. Beautiful. Um, Love your work. <laughs> probably LFM tomorrow. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, you're now tiring the um, Nordschleife races are, so pace yourself a bit. Yeah, I need to pace up a little bit now. Yeah, I did run a 20. Uh, I think I took my message to 28 this morning. An 828? Yeah. I don't know. Not super fast, but... It was on the edge, though. I did I did nick a wall and invalidate, though. Cool. Cool. Well, uh, yeah. On that note, sir, uh, good luck with your stream tomorrow. I'm sure I'll be tuning in. Uh, and everyone, goodbye to Casey. Bye. Yep. Catch Adios, there, guys. Right. Okay. Got rid of that Muppet. Um, let's see. So, everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. I think there's been some new names tonight, including Motorhead. I don't know if you've been here before, but certainly, you know, you've been quite active tonight in the chat, which is great to see. Uh, 90 minutes on Saturday, one stop, that's correct. Uh, I think I'm just going to do dry weather because this track's enough. Dry weather, I think I'm going to do open selection, so if you want to pick a GT2 or a GT4. Weirdly enough, I feel like I want to drive the GT4 here again. I feel so comfortable. Uh, it'd be great to have you on track, Motorhead. Uh, Mank, Schumacher, thanks for the company. Dublin, uh, Flint, and everyone else. Um, Pierre, 
Mon. Uh, great to have you all here. And everyone who's been here, David, and all the guys who were here earlier, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We've had some good races at Monza. And we should have our license at the Nordschleife, fingers crossed. That was a bit on the edge. Uh, other than that, thank you, everyone. And we'll see you on the Discord and the socials. It's pretty late. I'm pretty tired. Peace.